gentlemen. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yo! Good morning, haters! What up? Happy Friday! We fucking back, baby! Woo! Good old Friday, baby! Wakey, wakey! What's up? What's up, mother... Cracking a beer early in the morning, ready to go. Russ got bags in his eyes. Play. Dude, I literally, dude, I did a, I played a whole franchise last night. I'm ready to go today. I'm ready to go today, baby. I got a new squad, new team. We're ready to go. Zooted and suited. Absolutely. Title is a troll. I just, I'm just making, making light of this whole fucking sneaker game. It's the sneaker. Glenn Rodriguez oh. became an employee. Look, at, let's put the thousands of members. Jonathan Ramirez became an employee. Oh yeah. Terry Blues became an employee. Terry. Oliver Jimenez became an employee. EJ Badu became an employee. Hold on. Never Too Much became an employee. Speedy became an employee. Is that D-Speed? What up, Speed? Loss became an employee. Lisa 313 Detroit Shoes or uh. Life became an employee. Lisa, I love you, Lisa. Uh, what up, Liam? I said I'm not going out like that on that end. I'm, bro, we decided... We're going to roll with it. Um, we're going to end up rolling with that. It'll be an ongoing series. So, The senior game was just a crime ring. What do you mean? Cole getting cooked on Twitter. Why is he getting cooked on Twitter? I didn't listen to it. I just saw, like, obviously the... Uh, I saw the... You know, the posts and all the quotations and the, you know, what he said. Um, I always thought, like, when it comes to, like, rap beef and, like, dissing, like, is there anybody, like, from, like, the other fan base that's going to be like, oh, shit. He, my boy got cooked. I'm now joining the other side. I don't think anybody... I don't think anybody I don't think anybody gains anything from anything from that. It's just that it just stirs up the pot. I don't think anybody's like I don't think anything happens. It's just all for sport. Yeah. I mean I mean Drake got Drake got destroyed. Did he lose anything from it? No, not at all. Right? It just brings more attention. Yeah. It just increases. MGK and Eminem beef was pretty funny. I think, M yeah, but the problem is it only works if you punch down. Right? Like, right? Okay. And this is why it's tough because, like, all right, say... Okay, MGK and Eminem. Obviously, Eminem is on a different, 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 like, stratosphere. Um, but MGK had a... MGK, I think after that beef, like, he gained a lot more. He gained from it. You know what I mean? No matter what you say... Uh, MGK gained a lot... And now he's probably as more popular than ever.
He's probably more popular than ever. Yeah, but it had nothing to do with who's better than who. It's the attention that you get, right? I think it's the it's the attention. It's the clicks, it's the views, it's everybody checking it out, you know? Uh, it's the publicity, yeah. So I'm not really comparing, we're not comparing the two. I'm just saying that, you know, yeah, like you can say who won and who lost. I mean, I think though MGK definitely won because... I mean, he, he his career got more popular, right? I think in that sense, like Eminem had nothing to gain from it, right? Obviously, he you know you can say he destroyed him with the with, with his lyrics and stuff, but Eminem is already top of the game. Like he had nothing to gain from it, right? MGK was clutch. He said no matter what, but he still he got it though. He got it. He got what he wanted. Uh, uh, he would never became an emo boy if it wasn't for that beef. Yeah, he switched up his whole style. I think, honestly, him switching up his whole style was great for his career, too. You know? It was great for his career. He didn't get shit. What do you mean he didn't get shit? First of all, MGK went from what? Being like some guy from Ohio to being what? Dropping what, a rock album that went crazy to uh, marrying, uh, what's her face? Pretty sh Meg yeah. It landed him Megan Fox. Pretty sure he won. Pretty sure he won that, like, he landed Me uh, Megan Fox, like, what? Uh, only 20k flex points for a chance at a pair of Jumpman and Jacks. Go, 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 go. Don't waste your time with that shit, man. Don't waste your time with that shit. You guys put your effort into the wrong things, man. Don't waste your time. She's old now. Be about. Yeah. Okay. Everybody gets old, bro. Uh, yeah, and there's saying rituals too. Those ones can stay together, man. Yeah. I mean, listen. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. She, bro, yeah, great. You got somebody else's used up life that left her own kids. LOL, she's a thought. What? Dude, you'd be saying some wild ass shit, man. Trey just wants virgins, bro. Trey, Trey just wants 12 virgins. What is, what is wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with you, bro? You know there's plenty of people that get married, that get divorced, that have kids, that don't work out, right? Like, it's pretty, it's pretty common in, in, uh, in the world of society. Some people age like wine. Good genetics. LOL, she has a whole ass family and she left. I'm pretty sure she didn't have a whole ass family and said, fuck this, I'm out. I'm pretty sure maybe the relationship was cooked.
you know, you don't, I mean, what do you, 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 what are you, you're the therapist? I mean, bro, there's plenty of, dude, there's plenty of people, man. Even in this chat, people have gotten divorced, people have kids, people have families. It doesn't work out, man. You got to split. Uh, Benny, what up? Bro, help me. I'm falling for that girl. RRB to my bank account. You can handle it. Don't, 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 I, whatever, what did I want? I, what did I say? I warned you, bro. I warned you. Man, don't be doing stuff to impress. Uh, where's everyone? Wake up. Uh, it's Friday. There's, it's Friday and nobody cares about shoes, man. That's what it is. So. Trey, thank you for the one gifted. Appreciate you, bro. It's uh, it's the uh, epitome of the of the sneaker game. Yeezy pods removed and now resell shot up. Thoughts? Yeah, because nobody's has them, bro. Everybody's still waiting for their order, Scott. That's why they took it down. They took it down because they they gotta fulfill the orders. Um, they got to fulfill the orders. Yo, Hunter, change your profile pic. I'm not going to be looking at that shit. Change your profile pic, bro. Out of respect, like, dude, change your shit. No one wants to look at a, a big naked guy. Like, like that's way out of pocket, bro. Way out of pocket. How did your bets do last night? Uh, I only made 20 bucks. I had like eight picks. Some hit, some didn't. Um, it was kind of up and down night. My under rebounds hit for Draymond Green. My Zubac points and rebounds went over. Bro, Dylan Brooks hooked me at eight. I had him over nine and a half. Miles McBride didn't do shit. Uh, Stephen Curry went over 25 and a half. I hit that. Uh, Dejounte Murray didn't do shit. Joel Embiid. I, dude, I have no idea how I hit this. Joel Embiid, I think he ended with 35. I had him under 35 and a half. That hit. I got super, super lucky. Clint Capella, I had a double-double with Clint Capella. He ended with like 11 and 6. It's fucking bullshit. And then Duncan Robinson's ass. You talk about Miami Heat? Bro, Duncan Robinson is officially ass. I did. I did. Terry Rozier is going nuts. I know Terry Rozier is going nuts, but I think, honestly, it's a, that's not a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing, but we'll see. Um, just because I think... Oh, he put a live cop. Come on. Um, just because I think Terry Rozier takes away from Jimmy. Maybe, I don't know, Jimmy, Jimmy's not it right now, bro. That's why everyone's like making comments like, oh, what are you worried about the heat? I'm like, I'd be worried about Jimmy Butler, but Jimmy Butler, does some, some, this season just feels off for Jimmy. This doesn't seem like a normal season for Jimmy. Like, Jimmy would be a little bit consistent. He's been so, like, he can't even get 20 points, bro, which is not like him. 
He don't need to score. But, like, that's what makes Jimmy dangerous, man. Jimmy's always been that guy. What, now you're going to put him as a third option? You're going to put Jimmy as a third option? You're going to put Rozier, then Bam, mm -hmm. and then Jimmy? So Jimmy was one. Now you're going to put him at three? Just saying, though. I mean, I, I think Terry's nasty. I think Terry's really good. Uh, F the Heat, but Jimmy has more heart than Randall. Stop it. Playoff Jimmy at three. Okay. You think just playoff Jimmy is going to turn it on and put up 50 and 60? We'll see. When reality, it's going to be Terry Rozier taking all the shots. Um, but, like, in general, um, Randall, Randall, Randall has a messed up shoulder, bro. What do you want him to do? He had to shut it down. His shoulder's a wreck. <laughs> he hasn't even played all year. Uh, I mean, when he knock and do eight and five threes, love got to let him shoot. I know, but I'm just saying he's like, okay, just wait. Because I think he'll still take those shots even if he's not hitting them. As someone that's watched Terry like from the Celtics, I'll tell you, he's good when he's hitting, but he'll be the opposite when he can't hit. Uh, I'll love the smoke the Celtics and Knicks fans. We will see. Okay. Season out that cocaine. Always. Always, always, always. So, hey, what happened yesterday, guys? I thought you guys said this shit wasn't selling out. I thought you guys said this shit wasn't selling out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out, 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 sold out. Nobody likes Kentucky, that makes sense. Houston's still available. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out, 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 sold out. Sold out, sold out. I'm just saying again though, you keep you keep you keep underestimating. I'm just saying though, how many times does it bro, you said yesterday this shit was way too expensive. And it got eaten up. I'm just, I'm, listen, I'm not trying to say, I'm just saying, bro. I, when I, I, you guys keep underestimating. That's all I'm saying. I know you can, you can have your public opinion, trash, fire. Those are, those are uh, awful. Like, I understand. Listen, you cannot like it. Perfectly understand. But I'm just saying, in general, like the marketing that he did. And the fact that too, uh, you they said that this was only put this was put together like three weeks ago. They put this whole thing together like three three weeks ago. According to fanatics. 
just goes to show you. I'm just saying, listen. Just saying. Did you cop? Yes. I copped the Florida Gators shorts. Bro, the Miami shorts went quick. I was debating between Miami shorts and the Florida shorts, and but I was like, the, the Miami colors are sick. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the Gators because I want something that says Florida on it. So I got the Gators. You could tell it took three weeks. Yeah, I mean, hey, it was effective. I mean, they got him going to all these campuses and shit, and, like, it was just just saying. It's a fake sellout. I don't think it's a fake sellout. Ross, you still got your tight booths? No, I sold those. I sold those. I took the money. Someone said, check. I mean, I mean, the shorts are completely gone. Miami shorts are completely gone. Miami shorts got cooked. If I went to or supported one of those schools, I would have caught for sure, yeah. Uh, Florida's trash at football. I mean, they'll be back eventually. But yeah, they are pretty bad right now. They are pretty bad. I met Travis at UT. Got an autograph and pick. So epic. You're being a wise ass, aren't you? You're 100% being a wise ass. Gangsta's being a wise ass. Ross, did you cop anything? Yeah, I said I got the um, I got the Gator shorts and then I got a t-shirt. Of course, I was gonna cop something, bro. I just couldn't. I couldn't um. I just took me a while to decide. Oh. Me say. Uh, fanatics need to do this so they can buy out the MLB contract. Yeah. There's it's still sit, stuff sitting on fanatics. All the backpacks are gone. All the backpacks are gone. The shorts, some most of the shorts are gone. Most of the shorts are gone, which were the uh, the most hype stuff was the backpacks and the shorts. Yeah, there's still some stuff available, but it's like there's. All the teams that really, like, nobody gives a shit about. I mean, there's some sizes available. Yeah, like Oregon shirt. Yeah, Oregon shirt. There's some sizes. Like, there's still XL, medium, but large is gone. Awesome idea was kind of bummed that the OG Bama logo wasn't used, but 100% glad to see alma mater being listed. You went to Alabama? Ain't nobody giving nothing but the, but the tide. Uh, uh, any Iowa shit? Nah. Good morning, Ross. How was training last night? It was good. It was very good. We'll be back again today, 11 o'clock. Um, Blitz, Bama Blitz, uh, probably not fully licensed, what is, Iowa, maybe, maybe, 
Are you guys excited? Bro, I had to laugh yesterday when this came out. I, I just, I had to laugh, dude. I seriously just had to laugh, man. I had to laugh, dude. I get it in a sense that people are happy. Black Metallic, Urge 1 5, returning September 2025. I get it. Like, people are happy. But, bro, it's only April 5th, and we've only gotten, like, two good shoes this year. Why do I need to know about something for spring of next year? It's like, dude, it's killing the whole like I j like at this point, bro, it just it makes me more frustrated because it's like nothing has happened even this year, man. We're still waiting on the shit they leaked out y last year to drop. This does nothing. It does nothing. I know someone's like, well, what if someone was going to pay resell now? Bro, this shoe came out in 2016. You're going to finally pay resell now for this shoe? Now you're going to wait? Like, oh, so, oh, I got a big difference. What? Again, nobody is saying like, oh... Like, nobody's talking about the shoe itself. It's like, dog, like, you could you could let us know maybe, like, fall of this year or maybe winter. But, like, bro, it's April. It's like a full year. It's a full year away, bro. Some of you guys might not even be in the sneaker game. It's just like, and then like what's worse, bro, what's worse and what really kills it is because it's so dead that like, I'm, dude, this shoe is going to be jammed down your throat. All I could think about is like the amount of like content I'm going to see on this shit now until it releases. Like there's going to be just shit done of like all that stuff. Let's talk about how the Black Metallics ended up at the outlets last drop. Bro, it could end up at the outlets again. Bro, I tell you this all the time, bro. Fives is one of the worst shoes right now. Okay, now people's heads are going to explode. No, that's my, I'm not talking about you. If you love this shoe, you love this shoe. But as a general census, as a community of what I notice between different silhouettes... Fives, ten, fives and 13s are really, really bad. Like, nobody buys them. Now, I get it. These are OGs, so it might be different. But, like, people always say fives are huge, bulky, and the tongue is massive. Makes totally sense. Make, like... The artificial help, hype will not help these. Fives and 13s are stepchildren of the original 14s. But, like, it's different now, though. Fives and 13s, like I said, fives and 13s growing up, bro, those were the hottest shoes. My OGs know that. All the OGs. Like, fives and 13s were the hottest shoes. Ones and fours were iffy. It was fives and thirteens. That's what it was all about. Fives, thirteens, elevens, twelves. But like the whole, this new generation of sneakerheads flipped it. And it's not coming back. This whole new generation likes ones and fours. Spoken like a true OG. I mean, I was a kid too, bro. I saw how the game worked. I saw how the game worked as a kid. 
Uh, but like this new generation just flipped it entirely. So you're going to have to wait for the next generation to possibly flip it over back again. Because this new, this, I, that's how I think it works. Them telling us this info screwed Black Cat Fives even worse? Probably. As I said, I, dude, I've said it. I thought F Black Cat Fives weren't going to sell. Bro, Black Cat Fives, send them to the outlets right now. Ship them. Bro, change the shipping address in the system. Switch it to Nike outlets because that's where they're heading. Because the, announcing this literally, it's like, dude, it's like the stock market. It just kills the stock on the black on the black cat uh, fives. Just absolutely murdered, murdered the stock price on that shoe. That shoe was at retail. I said it was gonna sit. It was already at retail. Now nah, that shit's going. That shit's going to 180, 175 outlet shoe. Just killed it. Absolutely killed it. Because you don't need both. You most certainly don't need both. And at the end of the day, you're going to take this one all the time. I would say 9 out of 10, you're taking this shoe. The new generation likes ones because of Travis. That's why they say I only want lows. True. Probably the same same reason why they like SBs. Probably will make black cats less stock. The stock was already made though, bro. You can't change it. The shoe is already being produced. You can't change those numbers, you know? Like, the stock numbers, I think, are already set in stone a year in advance. Because that's calculated probably into their forecast and spending, you know, in their financials. So they got to forecast that and they got to, like, have that in their budget and figure it all out because, you know, I think that's how it works over there. So it's like, Black Cats, they're already been, in the, if they're coming out, like, what? End of this year, early next year, that's that's it. That that those numbers are set in stone. These are gonna sell out in men's sizes ten plus. You may be right. You may be right. But I can say I'll say this. They're not, well, one, they're not going to be anywhere close to, first of all, I can hear Scott right now. Oh, they're going to be $350 plus. No. Dude, they might be like, the shoe's going to retail for like, they're going to price gouge us on this heavy, whatever. The, the shoe's going to be 225 probably, retail. 225 retail because they're going to squeeze every last penny out of you. It's going to probably be like 225 or 230 retail. And this shoe is not going to be anything more than 250. Whatever Playoff 8s did, these will do too. Well, Playoff 8s were pretty... The stock wasn't high on Playoff 8s. If they treat these like Playoff 8s, then yeah, I could see that. Stock wasn't that high on Playoff 8s.
slim down the collar and I'll cop. No, they're going to make these exactly to probably OGs. Ross Fours cooked after military blues. I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I know I've said this and I'm putting my foot down. I'm, I'm probably good with fours after militaries. I'm probably good with fours. I don't, I mean, unless it's a Travis four or something crazy, then I'm good on fours, bro. I'm good on fours. As far as keeping them and wearing them, I'm good. Because there's nothing else, there's nothing else. There's nothing else like, there's just nothing else. Unless they do cements, and that'd be a different story, but. Uh, White Thunders, eh. Fear Fours, no. Metallic five sizes ten for fourteen is gonna be hard to cop. Yes, Ross, dope boys in the hood are gonna pay three fifty. Don't debate me on that. Dope boys in the hood are gonna pay three fifty. Okay. You shouldn't you shouldn't talk about your grandpa like that though, bro. Cause we all know you sell to your grandma and grandpa. And your uncle. Uh, <clears throat> not gonna be three fifty, maybe in a year or two. I I I I mean I love his like I do love his his enthusiasm and like his hope for the future. I really do. But you 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 you're really putting this shoe above bread fours. You're putting this shoe above white cement threes. You're putting this shoe probably damn near close at 350. Yeah, the optimism a little bit, right? You're putting that damn cloak. You're putting it's at the, dude 350. That's that's 50 bucks away from lost and founds. Uh, fives have no motion. Delusional think these will be above retail, to be honest. It's, dude, it's hard. Dude, you can sway like, I don't know. Ross, you see Yay stop for the production on Yeezy Pods? Yeah, he's got to catch, you got to catch up. He's got to fulfill the orders that he has. 280, 300 at best. But even that, bro, that's putting it in the realm of bread fours. We've seen what bread fours have just done. It, dude, what? All right, listen. JB is about getting money. JB is all about getting money. You think they're going to cut down production on stuff like this? No. Absolutely not. JB knows that they can sell the shit out of these. We're about to see about 300,000, 400,000 pairs of these drop. Just saying. They're going to dump 300K, 400K of these. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And you, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna destroy it. Y'all talk about the date being far out. Now we're talking about resale prices a year out, bro. It's that bad. It's that bad right now. It's that bad. The amount of stock is not enough for this shoe. This is the best five ever. 
Dog, y'all were trying to hype up Fire Red Fives, man. I this is the same this is y'all this is the same shit y'all was saying for Fire Red Fives. Ross, have you ever sold sneakers to someone while they're breaking down a brick of fentanyl? Scott, I don't know if that is something to be proud of, Scott. I'm not sure like that is cool, dude. No, I'm sorry, Scott. I'm sorry. I don't like to associate myself with people that sell sell that type of drugs, okay? Especially fentanyl, which is what? The number one death? Which is like the leading cause of, of deaths? So no, I, I, don't, I don't like to hang out with those types of people, bro. So... I don't know. I, I I mean I'm I'm I don't think that I don't think that's cool, bro. I don't look at that as yo, you damn Scott, you fucking dope, bro. You cool, man. I want to be just like now, man. You're the exact opposite. Those are the people you associate yourself with. Makes like I'm good on you, bro. All right, Scott is 40, thinks he's de is selling dealers is cool. Bro, you did that like maybe in high school. You sold like what? A, a, like a bag of pot. Oh, <laughs> I'm real cool. Scott is fake. He's never been to a hood in his day in his life. Gangland gangsta? No, he has been. He's turned on his PS5 and turned on GTA. That's the only hood he goes to. Grove Street. One of my boys died from fentanyl. Dog, and this dude, like, it, and this dude in the comments is talking like he's like, that's a cool thing. Dude, lost. Man's lost. Homie's lost in society. <clears throat> That's why you just gotta pr you pray for people like him. This dude's just, just lost. Uh, glad I caught the black. I'm in your five shoes. Nice. I mean, can I say this though? Can I say this? Does, I know people would be like, nah, I think people will probably be cool with it, but like, dog, if you cop the black, if I copped the black metallic Abba Manier 5s or whatever it is, I'd be a little bit tight. I'd be a little bit tight. I'd be a little bit tight. And then find out that these are coming out. I know you guys are a little, I'm in mean, your hype beast and shit, so it's like, I get it. But bro, you basically caught the same shoe, but it's a dirtier version. It's the, it's the same, it's inspired by the same shoe, man. The I'm in mean, your fives are inspired by this shoe. They're just, they're just dirtier. These are better than the Amunier 5s? Well, if you're going to get the OG, you get the OG. But, like, I would, like, if this shoe's coming out, to me, that kills, to me, I would, there's no reason. 
There is no reason to buy the Amma Manier fives. No reason. It's hella different. Oh, it's hella different. Okay. It's it's hella different. It's Ross. They're they're so different, bro. Dog, do you know that this shoe is inspired by this shoe? Except the difference is this shoe, you stepped in piss. Or you peed on your shoe. It's this, yeah. Okay, Ross, they did do some deconstructions and stuff. Of course, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, he slimmed down the tongue. He made it less bulky. 100%. I, I agree, right? But this shoe is inspired by this shoe. It's like comparing oranges to tangerines. It's like saying like, bro, as someone, you don't need both. You certainly don't need both. You do not need both. They're both black, I'm a, black Air Jordan 5s, man, literally. Same materials on the, on the new buck. So are both the off white fives. Off white fives are a little bit different because it's on a pl it's a plastic dude. It's a plastic case on the shoe, and it doesn't look exactly like it. The white pair is totally different. I would say that, yeah. If you don't need both, I take the Ama Meniers. Oh, that's a hype beast comment. Bro, hype beast comment. Hella hype beast. So you're going to take the collab shoe over the OG? This is where the game is so fucked up, too. You'd rather take the collab over the OG? First of all, this shoe shits on this shoe completely. That piss yellow shit needs to go. OG over OG on uh, yeah. Hype or OG is the collection is the question. Based off the same thing, obviously they reworked it, but like, yeah, you got to take OG over this all day. Didn't you get both Mac attacks? Yeah, but I don't wear, I mean, they're DS over there, bro. If you, I wear my, I wear the OGs. That's just for the collection. You would have caught Travis Mac attacks over OGs. Bro, I have the OGs. I have two pairs of OGs. Again, you trying to get me on this gotcha shit. Oh, I got you. You caught the Mac attack. Bro, I got two pairs of OGs.
These are gonna be a problem. <laughs> Ross, respectfully, I don't think you wore Jordans growing up. Respectfully, imagine you speaking on my life like you know me. Respectfully. I wasn't a diehard sneakerhead growing up. You're right. Because sorry, I didn't grow up as a trust fund baby like you. All right? Okay? My mom had to buy me shoes growing up, and it was always like regular ass shit because I would trash my shoes. So yeah, I had pay less uh, Hakeem Olajuwon shits growing up. The coolest shoe I had was skate shoes. So you're right, because at the end of the day, growing up, I didn't give a shit. Because I would just wear my shoes. I, the shoes I bought, one of my favorite sneakers growing up was the Up Tempos. That was my favorite shoe growing up. The Up Tempos, the Air, the Pippin joints. And you actually, you bought them and you wore them out at the fucking store. Right? You wear, you wear them. Because that's what you did. There was no such thing as, oh, I'm going to take them and put them in my closet. And then we're going to look at them. I'm going to take them out and look at them. I'm going to sniff them. No, man. I put this shit. I, I, I went around the finish line track with them. Walked around. I, I like these. You want to walk out with them? Yep. Dude, my football cleats were fire. I had, I had the Jordan cleats. I had the Jordan 14 cleats. Then I had some custom Nike cleats. Um, I had some good, good, I still have my cleats. Ross had the Dada Supremes, the spinners. Nah. I didn't have those. I did have like, I had like DCs, you know. I had circ. I had uh, a couple skate shoes, some Etni shoes, stuff like that. But you're right. I wasn't spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on shoes. I just, I just didn't have it. Uh. I always got hand-me-downs, and like honestly, the J's that I'll be, the J's that I wore, I would steal my brothers because my brother used to work at Finish Line, so like my brother had the J's, my brother had the Mocha threes, the True Blue threes, and we were the same size shoe, and I would steal it, and I would wear them when he wasn't looking, and he would get fucking pissed, and I'd get my ass beat because that's what an older brother does to a younger brother. He'd beat the crap out of me. Respectfully, I never wore Payless shoes. I mean, I thought they were dope. I mean, uh, they were Payless Akeem Olajuwon shits. And like, I was at football camp. I came back and someone shoved my shoes in the toilet. So they were cooked. In fact, I got three older brothers. Yeah. Bro, a family member gifted me Skechers. I wore them proudly. Hell yeah. I used to wrap duct tape around my old shoes my friends gave me after they used them because my parents took me to churches for shoes and clothes. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, little beans, right? I grew up on Payless shoes and I'm like, yeah, there was nothing wrong. Payless had some fire shit, bro. I mean, they had doable shit, but like, I never like, again, grown up, like, I don't know. Times have definitely changed with social media. Like, shit, I would get fucking roasted hardcore. I would be, like, with all, like, TikTok and shit, bro. Dude, I would get roasted. If you saw my freaking, um, if you saw my 
my my school picks growing up, I would be I, dude. I had a giant mushroom cut. I was a fat, chubby cheek kid. I was overweight. I had a big ass mushroom cut, and I had thick glasses. I would find it for you, but I don't. I don't think. I think it's. I don't know where it is. I would have gotten roasted. I would have got roasted. The bowl cut. I had the bowl cut, bro. Let's see the pic. I don't. I. I would show it to you because I really don't care. But I don't have it. I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. And ones. I had the and one t-shirts. And one t-shirts. The and one shorts. Used to get that at Ann and Hope. I don't know if anybody remembers Ann and Hope back in the day. Yep, got that shit at Ann and Hope. It's kind of like, uh, I, I guess, at Kohl's. Before Kohl's. The classic bowl cut till eighth grade. Absolutely. Ross used to rock FUBU too. Hell yeah. Nah. I, I, I FUBU might come back. The way the way the the way the fashion world is, FUBU might come back. Bro, 90s kids wore feelers over Jordans. Even today, people wearing running shoes over Jordans. I never had feelers. I will say that. I never had feelers. Uh I never had feelers. Echo was huge. Echo was huge. Yeah, it was all about Echo. Echo and LRG. And sh I don't know, Sean John, all that shit. The velour track suits. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was all about Echo. Yep. G, -g, 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 G unit, absolutely, Alex. I didn't have the G unit rebox though. You remember the starter jackets? Yeah, that was way back. Starter jackets. I had a Cowboys one. I had a Cowboys one. And my brother had a, I forget, my brother had a, uh, I can't really say it now, but the the red. My, my brother was a huge, um, I guess, Commanders fan. Rockaway was huge too. Yeah, Rockaway was huge. Uh, the Polo Assassin. Polo, yeah, Polo, the pop collars. That was later on. That was when Ye started coming on. That was when Ye was coming on. Everybody was rocking Polo. Now you don't see anybody wear polos. Obviously, the I Ain't Fresh guy started that shit but like nobody nobody rocked polos like that nobody rocked polos nowadays who i mean besides going to work right you have to tuck that shit in but who wears polos like that anymore maybe for like a baby shower or some shit. I'm just saying, does anybody really buy like polo t-shirts with like the, you know? For golf, yeah, but like, mad southern dudes still rock them, yeah. I mean, I said that I ain't fresh guy still rocks them. But like, you know what I mean though? Like polos used to go used to go to what? Marshalls. 
Go to Marshalls. Go to go to Marshalls. Go to the polo section. Get every color. Pink, yellow, all the bright colors. You still find that shit at Marshalls, bro. JC Penny. Yeah, but that's if you're spending big money, bro. Those are the expensive polos. Those are like I remember polos used to be like 60, 70 bucks, and I'm like, damn. But you used to wear the oversized polos, the polos that used to go down, down. Um, bro, Pete, we used to dog used to dress like this. Literally, used to dress like this. Look how big those jerseys are, bro. Look how big those big ass white tees, man. Dog, look at these fits, man. I look at these fits. Look at the pants. Dude, what size, what size is that? What size is that? Literally. That's got to be a 4XL. That's got to be 4 or 5XL jersey, throwback jerseys. The jerseys are hard, just not that oversized. That's a 5XL ATL, baby. ATL, stand up. Rise up. <laughs> bro, what a time, man. Bro, what's funny is that they had, dude, they, bro, this ain't their house. Why are they showing this off like it's their house? Bro, this is some old, old white lady's house. Like with all these boats and shit, why are they why are they trying to act like this is their house? This is an Airbnb. That's the way I dress now. I do not dress like this. I do not dress like this. Stop it. I just saw this video going viral on Twitter, and I was like, bro, this was a different time, man. Like, man, dude, that guy, look how, look at that shit go. Bro, look at the pants, man. Look at the pants. Look at the pants. He got Air Force Ones on. Just crazy. Just a different, different time, man. That shit had me dying when I saw that. One, what an era. Dude, what an era. To the window, to the wall. Cribs was lit. All them shows were were lit. This might show my age, but this was high school for you. Creative thinking. They gave the sixteen months. Ying Yang Twins on MTV Cribs. That was a good. Yeah. Bum 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 bum.
Back then, a girl didn't know if you were jacked until you took your clothes off. It was easier times for us thick boys. <laughs> you dog, you good, bro. Most girls, go, some girls don't like jack guys. They like a little, they like a little, uh, you know, little jiggle. Not all girls want guys that are buffed. All the MTV Cribs were rented homes. I don't think all of them were. Method Man's episode is funny. He had homeboy sleeping on the ground. Yeah. I don't think all of them were fake, but most of them probably were. Oh, look who it is! Point Poppin' just subscribed with Prime. Point Poppin', what up? Red Man's wasn't rented? Was that true? Red Man's wasn't rented. He's got his dude. This is where I got my clothes. This shit dirty as hell. He's ironing shit on the floor. Stop. Easy to find and watch TV at the same time. This is the bedroom, so you know a lot of entertainment. I like to. Bro, I can't watch too much of this. I'm gonna get. At least he got. He got. We got. Man, got the DVD section. Holy shit. He got the whole DVD collection. Nasty movies, but can't see them. Oh my god, it's all porn. I can't show that. I'm about to, I'm cooked. I'm gonna hit that like button, bro. I'm fucking cooked. Hit that like button, please. Hit that like button, please. Hit that like button. And he got the oh he got the lotion with next that's hey bro this is uh, yo a, a lot of you guys can relate a lot of you guys can relate to this got the lotion next to the Dreamcast next to the TV the slash yeah bro a lot of you guys can relate. Oh, I know for sure you guys can relate to this with the Dreamcast. He got that shit next to his bed. <laughs> yo, no, yo, I thought this was at next to his, at the end, at the foot of his bed. He got this shit on his bed stand. That's his bed stand. Shut the yo, yo! Shut this shit down, bro. This is definitely yo. Honestly, if any of you guys have this set up, seek help. Yo, seek help immediately. If any of you guys have this set up in your house, bro, you need to call one eight hundred seek help, please. This is definitely OD, bro. OD. Like, he got the lotion next to the bed with the TV. What kind of, he got ready to rumble boxing? Holy shit. The N64 games with the... The butter lovers. The good old butter lovers. Ready to rumble. I remember that game. God. 
Yo, he definitely lived here. This was his house. 1,000% this was his house. This can never be staged. This shit can never be staged. This could never be staged. There's no way. There's no way you could stage something like this. There's no... Yeah. There's no way you can stage something like this. There's no way you could stage something like this. It's an apartment too. Bro, I wonder what the producers thought when they walked in, the cameraman. I wonder if they were like, oh, this is going to be gold? Or is this going to be an, this is an absolute disaster. I mean, he showed off basically tax evasion. He showed off basically tax evasion. He got he got cash in the shoebox. He got cash in the shoebox. He got cash in a shoebox, bro. Ross, that's just his sneaker budget. Bro, it was a dollar for blunt boxes? Okay. I thought he was actually, it's his money that he does it just, he just stashes it in his box. Just saying. That's under the table type. I thought, but hey, okay. It's a different time, man. Uh, rappers ain't that rich unless like 50 year Eminem. Bro, I mean, what? I just going through this. This thing was like, oh, I don't know. This comment got 17 million views. 50 Cent lied on MTV Cribs. JoJo admitted she was homeless and lied on MTV Cribs. It was her uncle's home. Ja Rule lied on MTV Cribs. He rented a mansion for a week and claimed it was his own home. He got sued by the owner. Dame Dash lied on MTV Cribs. He rented the home for Mariah Carey. Birdman also lied on MTV Cribs. There's a documentary on all this. It's way more stars who lied. Many of them were broke. So basically, and this is why, this was the start. I mean, this is like another phase of like, again, like social media. What do I, why, do, why do I always tell you guys? All the shit you see is most likely fake, bro. Everything you, on you I would say like 90% of the shit you see on, fo on social media is fake, bro. It's all fake, man. All of it, dude. All the shit you see is fake. So they fake it till you make it. I don't I mean you fake it like you got it and then hopefully you make it, I guess. Choose rich, absolutely. I'm just saying, dude. <clears throat> Pit My Ride was fake too. Yeah. Uh, Berman lied on his car. He's not in his home. But I'm just saying though, like, it's, it's, it's just a, I don't know. It's a very common thing, bro, just to fake it. Fake that shit, man. 
People still don't entertain it's, understand it's entertainment. All that shit. All the shit. All the YouTube videos. All the YouTube videos. All the shit you see, bro. Mo- most of the time, it's all fake. Like, the dude, the buyouts are probably all fake. Bro, buying all this shit for the video, then they give it back. Like, I'm telling you, dude. It's just entertaining. It's just for entertainment, like you said. It's 1,000% for entertainment. Like, I mean, all the videos are fake, bro. There's only a few people that I see that still that do legit videos like that. Right? A lot of these people come out just like Scott, Major Cappers. You need to start flexing more. Bro, I don't get anything out of it. Flex what? How about, what? you know what's a flex? Being able to have a streaming career like this and to be able to stream and hang out with you guys. You know? This right here. Okay? To be able to do this. This is my, this is a flex right here. Okay? To have a show like this, to hang out with the best community by far. Everyone wants to knock it. Everybody wants to come at the top. But we're still here. So... How about that? Don't need to show off. I just need to just need to roll out of bed and come hang out with the best community by far. That's it. Every single day. That's it. Little Dickie's video where he does the entire video with no money. <laughs> so you admit your shoes are fake? I will say I don't have fake shoes. I will say that. I do not have fake shoes. Honestly. Um, Not a lot of videos I've done that's fake. People like to see the show off. Of course, because people like to see... I mean, even I, like, I like to see the stuff that I normally would never do, right? I would like to see like the videos of a dude spending hundreds and thousands of dollars because I don't know what that's like. I don't know, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, bro, I watch it for 20 seconds and I turn it off and I'm like, I go about my day. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that's about it. Uh I have a f- I have a fake Apple Watch and it's dope as f. That's the wildest shit. I know you said that in the past, but I didn't even know they make fake Apple Watches. But hey, at least you're honest about it. And at the end of the day, bro, you do you. You do you. It's like that brings me to this thing where it's like. Uh, Swizzle Kicks, thank you for the 10. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your Swizzle Kicks. Thank you, man. Let me heart that. Thank you for the 10. Uh, I'm Let's. Thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate it. We get the chat going a little today. Appreciate you, Let's. Appreciate you guys always. No, this video. Have you seen this video that's going viral now? Um, with uh, about mids, some shit about mids now. We're back, we're back to hating on mids. I missed the I missed the phone call. We back to shitting on mids again. I gotta find the video. I don't know what to do with it. Damn, did it take get taken down? Uh bum 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 bum. Oh, here we go. Jordan is okay if they're on 
Hell no. Nobody gets a pass. Not even children. I know I'm hey listen, I'm not gonna talk about the kid, but just know like it's not acceptable, okay? Jordan Mir should not be consumed. Okay, but why do they make them? They make them I don't know. That's a great, <laughs> that's a great question. The mid is just it, it's the middle child. It's it's the one that gets left behind, it's the one nobody wants, it's the one that the material It's the middle child that nobody wants. Dog. God. Uh. Um. You feel that? What? This comment? This statement? I just... Honestly, though, I get it. I mean, home, everyone's chasing clips, bro. All right? Everyone's chasing clips. So let's say the most outlandish, craziest shit. Where everyone's chasing clips now. Um, bro, I just... Maybe I just don't give a shit. I just don't give a shit. I don't know. I just don't give a shit. If you want to wear mids, wear mids. I don't care. Genu people generally think my mids are highs all the time. I just don't care. That's the thing. I don't care for mids. Like, I will, I, like, listen, if you want to, dude, Gorgon probably is punching walls and shit right now. He's the king of mids. I really don't care. Would you wear mids? N Would I wear mids? Maybe. Maybe. Wouldn't even put kids in mids. Kids can wear mids. Uh, someone's air earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. Holy shit, the earth is... Dude, the end is here, bro. Did you guys get hit with the earthquake? Did you guys just get hit with the earthquake? Bro, the solar eclipse, the earthquakes, it's coming, bro. Get your tinfoil cat, get your tinfoil hats on. Get your tinfoil hats on. Stock up foil. Nah, mids don't deserve to be on my kids' feet. <sighs> New York City just get hit with an earthquake. That's crazy. Earthquake felt in Philly. Earthquake in um, New York. Earthquake in Connecticut? Bro, do you got... Wait, is that even possible? Okay, Ben. What's wrong, bro? Just felt an earthquake in the building. Some girls started screaming. <laughs> Piglet, they were the five. Hold on, Piglet! We can't lose Piglet! Is that serious or a joke about what the dude saying he wouldn't put his kids in mids? I think he's being serious because I think a lot of OG heads are very like 
pretentious and like chin up like oh I'm better than everybody like it's like very like a lot of the OG heads got super super big egos so it's like putting your kids in mids why not the kids are gonna go fucking jump in a fucking I don't know a a sandbox. They're going to go down the slide 15, 20 times. They're going to run around and jump and s- jump in puddles. So why not get them cheap, affordable shoes? Why are you going to buy them in like the craziest? What's stupid thing is buying your kids like freaking Travis Scott's. Dumb. Buying your kids like crazy hype shit. They don't give a shit. Your kid does not give a crap about power puffs. Stop living your life through your kids, okay? It's like, what, are you going to sign them up and get them ready to play for the NFL? Are you going to put them through two-a-days? Uh... Robert, thank you for the 31 months. Don't worry, chat. Queso just fell down. He's a good... I like that guy. He's a good content creator. He's funny as shit. That dude's funny as shit. Uh... Facts, Ross, I buy my daughter whatever she likes. She just needs, my kids will just have, you know, decent shoes. They just have decent shoes. I'm just saying, man, that it said kids don't like Powerpuff Girls. No, but I'm just saying, like, they just don't... It's clear as day. You talking about the video? No, I mean, it's just clear as day that they just don't share that same appreciation that you have. I Like, you know what I mean? It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's like, if you want to still do it, do it. But they're not going to appreciate it. They don't, they don't really care. It's not a big deal. If you want, you could do whatever you want. Shit. Put your kids all in Gucci. Put your kids all in fucking expensive ass clothes. Ross, I like mids, but they sadly don't come in the same quality. Well, yeah. Because, like, they got to be in that price range, bro. They're also a cheaper option. Right? I think that's why the mid was created. Was to give that cheaper price option for families and stuff and people out there. You don't have to flex on everyone every day. There's always someone else that will shit on you. That is just reality. Eh, pff, facts. Facts. Um, another day, another argument. People just love to argue. But that's what chicken and W's is. We just have d- discussions. I think that's what people come back about. Like, there's no wrong... Like, I'm not telling you how to raise your kids. Do whatever the hell you want, literally. But, like, to say, you know, I think that's kind of... I'm not putting my kids in mids. I think that's kind of, like... That's a wild, wild statement. I'm not putting my kids in mids. Everyone's talking about this earthquake. 4.8 is insane. 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Let's turn on the news.
Is this in correlation to the Taiwan earthquake? Everyone in New York right now. <laughs> Was this Piglet? You felt that earthquake? God. How is it 4.8 for the way for the East Coast is wild? It's the world is shifting, bro. The world is shifting. We got to get a we got to get a, a an earthquake analysis on right now. Here we go. Breaking news. Primarily info. M5.5 earthquake. About 20 miles west of North Plainfield, New Jersey. Three minutes ago. Damn. There's the earthquake. So it hit. It hit right there. And shook everything. Did you say let's turn on the news and went to Twitter? Yeah. I mean, isn't that where most people get their news? That's how I get my news, Twitter. It's one of the best news sources by far. It's straightforward, and I know who's bullshit and who's not bullshit. And rather than TV, they all got their fucking agendas and shit. So, yeah. I live on that star? No, you don't. Do you really? Monitors were flopping around. Does anybody have any live footage? Do we have any live footage in your house? Did anything happen? Here we go. Eyewitnesses report shaking in New Jersey four minutes ago. Local time. More info soon. Earthquake com confirmed by seismic data. Primarily info. M5.5. Uh, 19 miles, boom, 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 look at all that thing hitting. Earthquakes may happen anytime. So what do you do during the shaking? Chat, listen up. Inside, take shelter. Keep away from the windows. Get underneath the desk. Piglet, get underneath the desk right now. Piglet, get underneath the desk. Keep away from the windows. Outside, stay away from anything that might collapse. Bridges, roofs, electrical wires. Risk of a tsunami. Be careful. There could be a tsunami coming now. There could be a huge tsunami. If a quake hits, protect Chalupa at all costs. Piglet, thank you for the five. Ross, you know half your supporters are from this area, right? You better pray for us. I Bro, I am. I am. A 4.8 earthquake magnitude. A 4.8 magnitude just hit. Let me see. God. Why people, people trying to make jokes on this stuff. It's not joke. Someone said, this is the new Phillies uniform, the Phillies City Connect. These are so bad that the uproar caused an earthquake. Those are pretty bad uniforms for Philly. 
I'm sorry. Uh, nice knowing you. Yeah, fine. Everybody's fine. Everyone's fine. Relax. Did they show footage of it? Uh, the preliminary cases. Four point eight. I can't show it. I wish I, we could see some of this shit. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube's got live coverage of this shit. Let's go to YouTube. This is this is what's good about being a streamer. Let's go to live trending shit. There's got to be some stuff about this right now. Live streams, music awards, sab, uh, rain. Urgent tornado outbreak. We got someone chasing tornadoes two days ago. Live now. Kid, I have a question though. I should be able to watch this. If it's streaming on this, I should be able to watch this. If it's available on here, I should be able to watch it live with my viewers. I'm probably going to get cooked. But it's live here. I should be able to watch this. I'm just saying, this is all live content that's on YouTube. Live news. Black Nimbus, thank you for the 31 months as a line cook. Take care, y'all. This is the this is global warming at its finest. Snow in Cali. Now earthquake in NYC. What's gonna happen in Florida? Yeah, Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Risk it? If I yeah, but if I get a strike, I'll get cooked, dude. My channel will get cooked if I get a strike. Yeah. Here you go. Breaking earthquake. Hurricane season for Florida. Florida gets flooded next. Relax. Relax. We got the Supreme Jet Ski? We do. We do. Um, everyone's eyes gonna get cooked on the solar eclipse. Dude, stop. Opening day. Florida hate, but now love the vacation. I that's how they always are. Bro, how is this possible? I swear, YouTube doesn't monitor shit. How is this dude with 29,000 people watching, playing slots? I thought this is illegal. How can this guy play slots? He's got 29,000 people watching. I thought you can't do this. It's just a game. Vegas Matt does this every day on what platform? 
on YouTube. You could do it on YouTube. I thought they got rid of it. Maybe that was just Twitch. There's no money. Twitch did. Oh. I I thought for sure Twitch. With 30k viewers watching doing slots, watching me gamble a thousand, eleven thousand rubies at once. It's always a great area with these dudes. There's nobody even chatting, so I don't even like this shit. What the hell does this even mean? It's on live commentary mode, so you can't even chat. Makes no sense. Imagine gambling for twelve hours straight. That's you got a problem if you're playing slots for 12 hours straight. And it's under gaming. Live slot, another one. And of course, it's like these dancing fairy fairies. It's so weird. Train wreck would do 30 plus hours. Yeah, but like, look at it. It's all slots, 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 slots. Dude, it's all slots. It's all gambling. I swear, YouTube does not monitor... YouTube doesn't monitor anything but music. There's no chat though. Yeah, there's like, well, because it's live, because like it's on live commentary. So I guess you can pick. I don't know. Subathon night four. This guy's doing a live 24 7 until the timer stops. Subathon night four. What is this guy doing? Are oh, they playing some games? Everyone's playing Pokemon and shit. I haven't gone down this rabbit hole, bro. This is a rabbit hole. I never realized how many people stream, bro. How many people stream video games? Jesus. Ross, you go live for NBA picks. Isn't that illegal? Not really because I'm not actually like, I'm just talking. I'm not actually like at a casino playing blackjack or like playing slots. I'm just have like a page open. Ross, I tagged you on a tweet. Can you tell me what shoes they are? All right. Um, those are customs, bro. I mean, he's got a backwards swoosh on it. He's got a backwards swoosh, and they're customs. These are like just some custom shit. He's got drip grip on him, though. He definitely has drip grip on these. I tell you, even even professionals wear protection, bro. Even pro even professionals wear protection.
Look at that. He's got protection on it. They live stream slots in Vegas all the time. Look it up. Yeah, but on this platform, I'm just asking, like, on this platform. I mean, kick everywhere else is different. But on this, I never knew that. I always thought, like, because of the restrictions and because of, you know, you got to be older. Like, I don't know. I, I, I was, I'd be wrong. I could be wrong. I can certainly be wrong. Ugh. Uh. Let me see, Alabama. Ross, you notice we were talking about Red Redman and Jersey when we got earthquake. We did. We did. Hmm. You saying there's a correlation? There's no correlation. I had nothing to do with it. What, man? I bet some of y'all girls don't even bathe every day. What are you talking about? Go, 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 go. All right, then. Stop. You keep barking. Damn it, Ross. It's your fault. You did it. I know. It's my fault. What time are you playing crew? Probably 11 o'clock. You see it. You said everything we see is fake, then Earth. Not in real life, buddy. Yeah, oh, I just experienced an earthquake. That's fake. I'm not talking about that, guy. I'm talking about on this little window right here. This little window that you're seeing. Okay? Man walking around like, well, Ross said that's fake. In real life. Talking about this little window that you're watching through. Uh, Ross controls Mother Nature. Absolutely. Ross, what do you think about the new Jordan 1's aluminum? Uh, they're definitely not for me. I mean, if you want them, get them. But that is a, uh, that's going to be a pass for me, bub. That's too shiny, man. Way too shiny. Uh, you beating crew is fake. It's already arranged. All right, bub. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh... I just felt an earthquake. You just felt it now? You just felt it now. All right, you got to go. You got to go. Go. Okay. Oh, the aftershock? Is there an, there's an aftershock? Souls, dude, what about them Kobe 6 Venoms? Kobe 6s, bro? Yeah, uh, not for another week, right? All those Kobe's, you got one more week, bub. One more week. Can you hold on one more week? Can you hold on? Just hold on. Hold on. Aftershock sometimes can be scary and dangerous. We're learning about earthquakes as we go. I love it. We are finding new stuff about earthquakes every single day. I don't care about any of those Kobe's. Yeah, most people who care about them are, re are people that are trying to resell them. 
you know, I got my earthquake survival pack from 10 years ago. Is it still good? Absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing really. It's just, again, I don't know. Palace, five minutes. Palace, still a thing? Bro, y'all still spending bread like that? I'm scared of a sinkhole. Florida's got a problem with sinkholes, big time. Florida's got a problem with sinkholes, for sure. Hey, it's Friday! <laughs> it's Friday! Uh uh. Good old Friday, baby. Russ, why my Supreme Boxer is so loose? God. Because you can't fill them in, buddy. That seems like a you problem. Uh, Callie's laughing at the East Coast right now. I mean, it's not really normal, though. It's not really normal. Uh, what we got? PJ Tucker, Nike Air Flight 89. Soon. Those are not too bad. Y'all like those? Uh, Ross, does Fanatics have returns if the shorts don't fit? Yeah, they should. Color is dope. Yeah. Color is dope. I mean... Yeah. Ross, do you know when the Air Force One Aero 404s would drop? I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure. I mean, whatever, it, when it, when and when, if ever it does drop, I'll be here, bro. I'm not going anywhere. So if you're locked in day in and day out, you'll be here. I'll be here for you. Are they suede or new buck? They leather. They look leather. Ross Drake's in town. He's going to say he shook up the city. Uh-oh. I don't know. PJ Ducker had Jokic locked up with no cuffs. Didn't he have like 26? Featuring the Tearaway. Bro, the Tearaway, can I say this? Bro, the Tearaway usually makes them look better. It makes them look worse. Like, the red looks, the red has, like, what is it? To me, the red does the opposite. If y'all, I mean, this looks, I don't know. Like, what does the red have to do with it? I don't know. I think it would look better if you actually skate them. So it looks kind of like, you know, it peeks through it. Stop right now. Stop right now. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. USC freshman Bronny James is declaring for the 2024 NBA draft. James 19 also is entering NCAA transfer portal to maintain flexibility. The combo guard will work out for and visit with NBA teams and make a draft decision based on evaluation. Really? What? What? 
What? Here we go. Here we go. Is he ready? So he's keeping the NCAA transfer portal open to maintain flexibility. So if he doesn't get good grades back from NBA teams, he'll go back to school. Bronny and LeBron to the Celtics. Why? Why do you say Celtics? It, wait, wait. What's the contract? What's what's LeBron's contract? What's LeBron's contract right now? I can't wait to resell his shoes. He's basically a Laker. Dude, I hope so. I absolutely hope so he becomes a Laker. Second round pick to the Lakers. LeBron's contract ends in the offseason. Okay, it does end in the offseason. More Supreme Forces. Go, 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 go. Get your Supreme Forces. Go. I'm not trying to be a hater, but he averaged like four points. What other kid could do that and go pro? Um, nobody. I think no one's questioning that. But... He's definitely not a first-round pick. He's not a first-round pick. You guys would agree? Yes or no? Is he a first-round pick? Yes or no? Is he a first-round pick? Yes or no? What if what if LeBron holds what if the LeBron holds the Lakers hostage and says, "Listen, I'm leaving if you don't draft Bronny. What happens? What if he's just like, dude, I'm leaving. What do you mean the Lakers don't have a first round pick? Bro, so the Lakers don't even have a pick. Stop. Stop right now. The Lakers don't even have a pick. Their first round is owned by the Pelicans. They just have a second round pick. Bro, the... Bro... If I'm the Pelicans, do you use it this year? Um, if I'm the if I'm the if I yeah, you, you think you're the Pelicans, you use it this year? NBA picks are so tough. Non drafted free agents come out. No, he's gotta be drafted. He's got to be drafted. He's got to get his name called and walk on the stage. That's the rule. Pelicans own the pick? What do you mean? It says owned by the Pelicans and have to the rights to receive the 20, 2025 pick instead. So they own that, but they could choose if they want the 2024 pick or they can get the 2025 pick. He's not projected on any mock drafts this year. Well, he didn't know he was coming out. He just announced he's coming out. He just announced he's going to the league. Listen, the only way I see this work is if the Lakers take him in the second round. I'm sorry, but he, bro, LeBron doesn't want to go anywhere else. He wants to stay in L.A. He's not going to go to Orlando. 
He's not going to go to the Toronto. He's not going to go to the Raptors. He's not going to go to the Blazers, bro. Or Charlotte. Second round, you get no guarantee contract. Well, I mean, at least he'd be on a roster. How about this? How about this, H-Town? I'm LeBron James. You got to draft my son in the second round, and you give him a contract, a guaranteed contract, the first of its kind, because I'm LeBron James. And it's got to be a five to ten year contract. Listen, LeBron runs that organization. Don't get it twisted. What LeBron says goes. Okay. Why do you think he was? Why do you think he was cheesing and 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 cheesing and mooching with uh, the owner? And got in trouble. Why do you think she? Why do you think he was sitting next to her, laughing, laughing, giggling away? It was to set this up. It was to plant the seed. Genie, genie. Draft my son. And give him a lifetime contract. I'm just saying that would mess up the Lakers' future. Who cares? Who cares? We it's it's about now. It's not about the future. He's the GM. Whatever he says goes. Why wouldn't you want to have the first franchise to have a father-son duo play together? Exactly. That's what he said to Jeannie. He whispered it in her ear. Hey, Jeannie. You've done so much for the league. But what about being the first franchise to have a father-son duo play together in L.A.? It would be iconic. Come on, Jeannie, do it. I swear. And she probably whispered it right back and says, anything for you, king. Anything for you, my king. Bronny wouldn't see the court? Oh. Are you kidding me? Dude, Braun would call a timeout and sub his son in. Don't get it twisted who runs that team. Who calls the plays? It ain't that bald head guy. He doesn't know how to coach. He'll look at the clock. Oh, what is there? Six minutes left to go in the first first quarter? Timeout. D'Lo. D'Lo. Kick your ass out. See that spot over there by the end of the bench, D'Lo? Go take a seat, D'Lo. Bronny, come on. Come on, Bronny. You're in. You're in, Bronny. That's what he would say. Yo, D'Lo. End of the bench, buddy. Bronny, let's go. AR-15, go sit down. No, no, because AR-15, AR-15 don't take that many shots. AR-15 is still good. He's a distributor. He's on LeBron's good side. He's, you know, D'Lo takes too many shots. Check it up all those threes.
I'm just saying, man. Don't hey, don't get it twisted on who runs that team. It's not Genie's team. It's LeBron's team. Ever since if you get LeBron, it automatically as an owner, it diverts to him. It's his team now. I'm just saying, he's going to get drafted. He is going to get drafted. Whether you like it or not, he's going to get drafted. Are they really going to do that? Are they really? Come on, chat. Let's be serious. Uh, Listen, listen. Do you think the owners are really going to take a massive dump on LeBron like that? It's going to be like, listen, it's going to be a storybook. Ten, it, Yo, it's always about the allure. And it's going to be a massive storybook ending, okay? He's going to announce his retirement when his son comes in the league. Because you know why? Because he's going to do a farewell. He's got to do a farewell tour, right? He's got to make sure he's honored in every arena across the world, okay? So he's going to announce his farewell, and he's going to play with his son, and there he's going to get honored in every, every city besides Boston. He's going to get honored in every city. They're going to retire his number in Miami. They're going to retire his number in Cleveland. And they're going to give him all this stuff, these trophies, jerseys, all all this. And he's going to play with his son while the Lakers go on to finish dead last, winning 20 games and being in complete shambles. And he'll retire off into the sunset. Just saying. Bro, they all get a farewell tour. They all get a farewell tour. It's coming. LeBron's going to get a farewell tour. He's going to be for... Listen, he's not going to just end the season and be like, peace out, I'm gone. Come on, this is LeBron we're talking about. This man loves attention. He's not going to be like, at the end of the season, I'm retiring, peace, see ya. No, it's going to be at spring at spring practice... I'm 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 retiring at the end of the season. So all you guys out there, you better do uh some sort of parties for me every city I go to. I want I want a video on the uh Jumbotron before the game, every city. I want everybody to clap and cheer. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's what he's gonna do. We all know that's what he's gonna do. We all know that's what he's going to do. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong on that? He's going to announce his retirement before the season starts, and that way every city people go, and then they'll clap and, like, you know, give him a farewell, and that's it. Uh. RX Fly Fishing, they give it 32 months. I just saw someone say this is like Michael Jackson having his son perform at the Grammys. What? The NBA will definitely make money on his farewell tour. Oh my God, they'll have t-shirts for sale. They'll have t-shirts, uh, bobbleheads. They'll have everything. They'll actually have flowers that you can throw into the court to the king. 
for his farewell. Knicks fans didn't do, even do anything for Patrick Ewing. Well, that's New York for you. New York, I don't know. I don't know what New York's going to do. The decision 2.0, literally. But I'm just saying, hey, he's a, he's a future Laker. A future Laker. Put him in a, someone just already put him in a Lakers jersey. He's a future Laker. I'll, listen, I'll tweet this out. I don't care. Quote. And we'll we'll come back to this. There we go. There you go. I just tweeted it. Just tweeted it. So it's it's already it's it's cemented in stone. It's cemented in stone. Future Laker. Just think about think about all the jerseys they're gonna sell. Think about all the jerseys he's gonna sell. I hope some other teams draft him to mess with the Lakers. That would be what the Knicks do. The Knicks would draft and cut him in the same day. Cause that's what how, that's how the Knicks uh, franchise is. They would they would the Knicks would draft him and cut him in the same day. Ruthless, ruthless. Uh, I hope some other teams. We'll see. Double James. We'll see. Uh, is there? I don't follow him. Is he any good, or just in his name? I don't know. People in this chat said he can easily go. He's easily top ten, uh, top ten, top ten guard in the league. Top ten car guard in college basketball. Uh, who did it better, chat? Who did it better? What's up with everybody doing college shit now? OVO is doing college stuff. Who did it better? UCLA, Kentucky, Kansas. Here's your UNC. Damn, the shirts sold out. Hoodies sold out. Damn, y'all ate this shit up. Y'all a bunch of OVO fiends. OVO fiends big time. Syracuse. Damn, y'all ate up Syracuse too. Y'all love the hoodies. I'm surprised you didn't eat up the Kentucky because, oh yeah, y'all ate up the Kentucky too. Probably because more limited. There's no details. Yeah. What's the price? Three twenty eight for the jacket, one hundred sixty eight for the hoodie, t shirts. Sixty eight bucks, same price. Same price as the Travis stuff. Hats sixty eight bucks. I don't know. 
Travis drop was massive compared to this. Oh, well, yeah. There's only four teams. Same price, not copping either. Um, I will say it's a little bit more, a little bit more safer and basic. I will say that it's a little bit more safer as far as designs and stuff by just putting Kansas, then the logo, then the logo on the arms. We definitely need a stimmy to avoid depression 2.0. What do you mean? You need some money to spend? Roscoe, my phone just didn't come with regular laces. Just those stupid infinity laces. Yeah, I don't really like the infinity laces. It's a cleaner look. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's license, less leeway to change things. Ah, okay. There you go. That's the difference between a license and a non-licensed product. Uh, we just broke a record for the new jobs economy is booming. Is it? Feels like it, right? Um, uh, two points per Pac-12 conference. The big black boot with the hat on top is a fire combo. <laughs> uh, Ross, you had you heard that McDonald's is laying off 3,100 3, employees, and Dollar Everything Store is closing down all its stores. What? He just said. How, what? He just said the jobs report is good. What are you talking about? I saw something with In and Out. I don't know if it was true or not. Uh Calvin, thank you the five. Mona Ross, your mustache is looking like Magna P.I. Keep it up. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Um. People are going to be in and out jobs. Oh, uh, I don't... Is this... I don't know if this is true or not. Anybody in Cali can confirm this? It shows that California hiked the minimum wage to $20 per hour for fast food workers this week. You'll never guess what happened next. March 29th, double-double uh, was five sixty-five. Cheeseburger was three ninety-five. Hamburger was three fifty. French fries was two thirty. Shakes were two ninety-five. On April 1st, Double double was five ninety. Cheeseburger was four dollars and ten cents. Hamburger was three sixty. French fries was two thirty, and shakes was three dollars. I seen that. It's true. It's confirmed. Damn. So they just went around and just jacked the prices up on the food. Well, not even jacked it up, but they raised the double double. They raised it all. But hey, that adds up, man. I mean, all that shit adds up. Are you surprised? Not really, but damn, bro. You're going to, bro, no offense. You're going to be, soon you're going to be paying six bucks 
for a cheeseburger at freaking In and Out, bro. That, that that shit ain't worth six bucks. They did that to offset the raise, yeah. Bro, you know what's popping right now? You know what I've been seeing all of my TikTok? It's Chili's, bro. It's Chili's. <clears throat> if someone said Chili's, Chili's is now cheaper than McDonald's. Can someone confirm that? That you can get the chilies 10 for something? Three for 10? Can, I mean, where you can get chips and, sal chips and salsa, a burger, and a dessert? Is that true? I don't. I mean, someone. I saw that going crazy. McDonald's is now better than Chili's. McDonald's is better than Chili's. Uh, Chili's is, was better than McDonald's too. Two for two for two burgers, medium fry and a soda came out to close to twenty five bucks. Sheesh. My ex and I would go there a lot. Shit was fire. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I bring up some bad times, bad memories? You know, screw your ex. McDonald's really forgot their place. Dude, I know, you know who loves chilies? You know who's the chili king? Do you know who the chili king is? He's over there singing Kumbaya. Dude, Raph lives at Chili's. Raph can name the whole menu on Chili's, dude. Raph got the Raph knows Raph takes his kids to Chili's all the time. He knows that shit on the back, yeah. Oh, is it Applebee's? Maybe it's Applebee's then. He I he I don't know. We went there once and he was like, bro, you gotta get this, 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 and this. He's like, oh, I'm like, bro, bro, I have how do you know the menu, bro? You don't even have it open. We didn't even get menus yet. He's like, I come here all the time. I come here all the time. That man, yeah. He goes there all the time, he says. Everything tastes the same at Applebee's. I don't I, I haven't been to Applebee's or Chili's. I go to Longhorn, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Remember we, after that live we did? We yeah, after the um after we did the uh the lie detector test. After we did the lie detector test. He's like, let's go to Applebee's or Chili's. He's like, oh, let's go, let's go. He fucking is like, let's go. Yeah, I remember that. Someone said Joe Fresh Good announced the thing. I'll take a look. Do they still have a dollar? Rita's? Dude, the, the Rita's? The Margaritas? Oh, we could use a Margarita today, right? How many pounds of Margaritas tonight? Longhorn is better than Texas Roadhouse? Pfft. I like you. You just became a new favorite. I agree. I agree. I agree. It's National Burrito de Burrito. Burrito, 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 burrito. Breaking news from the Get Money Boys. Joe Fresh Good, New Balance. 1,000 subscribed to make the illness for more information. Shoes. I don't have a pair yet, but a lot of people here do. They've been on sale all morning long. We actually captured some footage earlier 
where the lines are two and three blocks long. People are really, really wanting to get those new ballots. It's been a little chaotic, but it's been controlled. We've actually seen a lot of people crossing the street through traffic just to get to the storefront, opposed to back in 2022, when they announced the 96 issue, and that didn't go so well. No one here wants a repeat of that. Now, it's a beautiful day here in Chicago, and I've actually got one of the guys, the first guys to get a pair of shoes today. What's your name, sir? Yo, this live, yo. Deontay Jackson, look, I'm a shoe connoisseur. You know, we didn't get money more than power at 290. You know, we've been getting money, we've been getting shoes. But just, it's just crazy out here, just how everybody is just tripping over each other for a pair of new battles. So, you know, I don't mind to put mine right on. You know, we've been getting money. We actually had a guy on earlier who was at every line for every shoe drop for years, and he could not get a pair of shoes today. That's because we bought them all. We didn't get money, boys. We got all the shoes. Look, instead of having everybody line up out here at some of these stores, Joe Fresh Goods, we coming to your crib to get the shoes now. How you like that, Joe Fresh Goods? No, nah, but for real, we bought all the shoes, we got them, and we sell them. Hit me up. <laughs> well, okay, well, there you have it. Max Sterling, live from Chicago. Watch out for the shoes. Um, someone said they're doing too much for a mid shoe. Damn. Um, is that supposed to be a play off of the uh, the Jordan Eleven release? Is that supposed to be like the Jordan Eleven release? Uh. uh Joe loves collabs, but this one ain't it. These are GRs with better colorways. There's GRs with better colorways. Oh, Dave Chappelle's kit. Uh, I love New Balance, but the thousand is not it. We'll see. I mean, it says release four eight twenty four, but is um is uh is it is it gonna be EQL? Are they gonna do an EQL? Probably not. Then right. They're still gonna sell out. Yeah, people are gonna check them out. People are people are gonna check them out. You know. You know what I mean? I think people are gonna check them out. Yeah, EQL probably starts that day. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think dude the, the days of like first come first serve online drops have like totally been like gone, dude. They took that whole shit away. They took that whole thing away. So um street tacos are everywhere in LA, so Taco Tuesday is dead. There you go. Yeah. I missed that rush. Yeah. Lucas, you know, people complained. People complained. People complained so hard on that shit, man. If you guys are new here, just join. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Run it up. Let's get 200 likes. Uh, Chicken Debbie's news report at next sneaker con, Ross. Yeah. For sure. In Detroit. End of the month. Um, yeah, what a time. Half of these taco taco spots ain't even selling legit tacos. Yeah. They still complain. Of course, everyone complains. This whole fucking genre is a bunch of complainers. That's all it is. That's all it ever is, man. Everyone's it's just a bunch of complainers. Uh, let's see what crew's doing. You'll be at Searcon Boston, right? I think so. I think so. He's already been practicing, someone said. He's already playing. Homie is already playing. Might be at Boston, yeah. Call him right now. 
No, he's listening to J. Cole. How's he listening to J. Cole? How is he listening to J. Cole? He, can't, he didn't get in trouble. Someone go in his chat and tell him to pick up his call. Ross, you know how much money I spend for 20K flex points for Locker to try to get these Travis Scotts? No, does anybody know? How much money do you need to spend? He didn't monetize today. I don't think that's how it works, but he, okay. You can get blocked too. He's not picking up. I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah. yeah. So, someone said you were Yo, practicing. No, nah, I'm listening to this J. Cole album right now. Give me like 20 minutes. All right, sounds good. All right, bet. All right, bye. There you go. He's listening to his J. Cole. He's going to get blocked. Wait. Uh, who won yesterday's game? Um, it was, it was just, it was, there was some miscommunication yesterday. It was, it was a, it was a preseason game. It didn't count. Nobody won. Nobody won yesterday. He got to get that warm up first. Should we jump on and start warming up now? We might have to start jump. We should jump on now and start warming up. Literally. I think I got to play with my settings. Who says that they're listening to J. Cole for 10 minutes? He said 20 minutes. I think we got to jump on right now. Anybody want to play right now with me to warm me up? Anybody want to play and warm me up? Pass to R1. What are we playing here? Pause. Check the man's settings. Let him know, right? He be cheating sometimes, bro. If it was, if you're watching WrestleMania, do anything for that? What do you mean? I don't know. I want some competitive, Ross. Let's go. Sign into EA servers. Why does my shit... How come I'm never signed in? I might have to restart my... Uh... Oh, we're in. Nice. Play a game real quick. We might just go to Tree... Skills trainer, sharpen my skills. Who should we roll with, chat? Who do we roll with today? Who do you think we roll with today? Pats? No, we're not playing fucking Pats. Panthers? Who do we roll with? Broncos? Bengals? What do you think if we roll with, this might be a dark horse. I mean, we can go Detroit. Detroit. What about Cleveland, bro? What about Cleveland? What if we go, what if we go Cleveland? They got Deshaun Watson. Chubb. I think I might go with Cleveland. Ross, I think you need to know more about throwing. The problem yesterday was throwing the bullets. Was throwing bullets every time. You should learn the passing strengths. Deep pass concepts. Medium pass concepts, smash redrill. Curl flat concept. What is it? Defensively smash concepts, high roll. Wait, throw the Richie with the hitch route with the O button? Okay. Oh. 
Let's play. Practice reading the defenses. I know how to read defenses, bro. Don't drop back so far either. What are you guys coaching me? I, what do you like that? What's that thing? Smash the second one with the route with the X button. Okay. Uh -huh. Easy enough. Didn't look like it. Just tap the button. Just tap it. You guys are coaching me hard right now. Put the headset on on the other end. I got the headset. You're going to coach me? All right, what do we got? 4-3. Over. Outside linebacker. We got... What is he playing? Zone? Too high safety? Let's see what that corner does. Nope. R1, you left him open. Easy, bro. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how to read, bro. Come on, man. Single high safety. Man coverage. Who's going to cook? Who's going to cook? Probably the curls. Cooper. Throw Mari. Let's go. Take the... What do you mean? 4-3. Looks like... Man to coverage. Chubb's going to have a linebacker. Chubb can take him. Chubb's going to take that nice. He can't cover him. Or I get more on the side. But back out of the backfield all day. Cut. Oh, no. I didn't look. Fucking block, you piece of shit. What the fuck are you doing with that mask on? Can't see shit. How the hell I got a sack in a freaking practice? Dumbass. What do we got here? Double high safety, zone, all day. Oh, it's gonna be open. Oh, oh, or Cooper. I'm gonna get Cooper some love. Oh. No audible, nothing you can't, it's just practice. Uh, uh, man coverage, who's gonna smoke? Who wants that smoke? Cooper, single over there, I'll take that Cooper look. Yeah, all day. Can't believe we're getting black metal uh, fives. OG dropping. Practice is on rookie mode. No, I switched to the all mountain. I think I did. Curl. Flat. What did they say? Throw to X wide receiver. Okay. Take the flat. Whoop. Little Andy Reid. You know how to scramble? Yeah. Watson with scramble, uh, easy all day. We're throwing X again. Okay. Say, bro. Bro throwing nothing but bullets. You, uh, yeah. Why not throw bullets? Watch. Why would I not throw? Okay, I'm gonna throw a circle. Why would I throw the? Why would I throw a lob here? It's a a hitch. You need lobs. Okay, we'll throw some lobs here. Look how long that takes, bro. That takes forever. Curl flat. What do we got here? Damn. The R1's gonna be easy. I'm pulling that way. Circle should get up. Oh, no. R1. Take it. Fine. Launch a deep route. I will. I think this is just. We're practicing. Crew's going to come on in a little bit. He's just listened to his J. Cole. I don't think you could do that in this setting, bro. In this practice. I know how to that. All right. 
This is for all the marbles. This is for gold. All right, let's see if we get a touchdown here. Bum, 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 bum. He's in zone. God, he's even in the flat. Why is he? Here we go, first down. Uh, return to try. All right, let's see. What do you say? Play deep? Deep pass concepts? All right. Here we go. When the DBs go outside, so the receiver reading the post, throw the pitcher, primary serve. All right. Play action, wait to the cut. Here we go. Boom. You can't send the player in motion in this. Have a good Friday. All right, man. God, why would I... All my friends are dead. Oh, touchdown. While I was doing all this just to get cooked, Dan? Absolutely. Switch the pass concept, switch the concept to complete the pass. All right, so what are we doing here? What? I don't get that. So, boom, boom, boom. I don't like going across the middle. That's my man. Nope. Got the hook right there. Boom. What's the matter? Rami wants to play? I don't know if I, we could play a, a game right now, bro. That's not gonna happen. You should be playing actual, actual. You play should play an actual game. This is all fun until you, you in a game. Fine. I was just messing around. Fine. Who wants to play? Rom, you want to play? We can play. I see no invites, bro. There's no invites. How are you gonna play? How are you gonna play when you don't send no invites? How are you gonna play when you don't send no invites? No invites waiting. If we have to watch, can you make please someone of your skills level make it competitive? No, fifty. Shut, shut up. What the hell? Dis what the hell? Be disrespectful. Man, the guy's a hella disrespectful. Y'all don't see y'all don't want to play, bro. Y'all scared as shit. Y'all scared as shit. Y'all, I'm not adding y'all. Y'all add me, bro. What the hell? Got to be lazy. It's straight Roscoe 7 2. It's right at the top corner, bro. I ain't doing all that work. You're the one that want to play. You send this to the wrong person. Friend request. I don't have no friends. No pending friends, bro. R O S Z K O, not R O Z, buddy. R O S Z K O. All I have is Bobby, Mystic Aaron, and Traumatized. Dax Money was on last night. Check again. 
Bro, I'm checking, dude. There we go. Many slugs. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Why does it? How come it's not? That's weird. I have 82 friend requests. How come what the hell? I have 82 friend requests in. My bad. All from December 15th. Why is it working like that, bro? You guys send me an invite now. I thought he was born in 1972. You got it. That's the reason. Rami, log back out, log back in. There we go. There we go. How come EJ Khaled? Is that, that, is that DJ Khaled? DJ Khaled, you want to run it real quick? Is that D? Is that EJ, his brother? That's EJ Khaled. That's his cousin. Oh, okay. Bro, I keep getting all these friend requests, but like, no game invites, no game invites, no game invites. Here we go. Finally, we got a game invite. Dirty Sprite, Dirty Sprite. Who's Dirty Sprite in the chat? Yo. Let's go. Let's go. He's quiet. I like this. He's focused. How much are we putting on this game? 50? Oh, let's go. Uh... Yo, dead ass though. Anybody that's uh, money, money. Does it matter that at like what you pick? Does it matter what you EA pick? Sports coverage of the National Football League comes to you from Ford Detroit. Field here in downtown Detroit, We're going Michigan. Down Detroit. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns. We kick it off. All right, we'll do, we'll do. Let's go. Oh my god, did I just the shake it already? I'm not even set to get this one going. And we are underway from Ford it? Field. Oh, let's go! Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. I like this, let's go, baby! And in hindsight, probably should have taken it. Who's the playing to in the, the chat? 16 yard line. I don't know what he's gonna do. Opening play and Goff wants to pass it. Ooh, okay. That's gonna be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he's nice catch. Past the 30 nice before catch. He's hit and dropped. 16 he's yards. He's covered. He's covered. Made a play. A quick first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field. I know. Attack the middle. And a first down. 
going to run it here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Oh, yeah. The slot man in motion right. I know he's going to run and it. They're going to give it to him. Oh, come on! And give the tackle to Anthony Walker. Oh, it's kicks for days? Just make this one right. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. They'll work from the 36 <laughs> on second and six. Let's, I'll try not to, all right? Now go off. I try not to. I try not to. Mark, I came into this game. Play, uh, who play, I'm playing kicks for these. Man coverage. But on that play, they held up quite well. Third and six. Let's go. So after the second third and six. Completion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Go on. Oh, we ran a screen. Good play. Oh no. Oh fuck. Shit out of me. Game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you Duke can the shit out of me. Pass rushers, extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in the block, or you can do this a little simple screen pass and it to perfection. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the My defense is skilled. Line. I've been working on offense. My Same defense Brown, is ass. Right. Ross got no pass rush. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And very little there. You can't he run the ball on me. Yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Oh, good play call. They'll run for the first oh time with God. a speedster, Jameer Gibbs. A nice opening right away as he'll maneuver play. his way up to the 32-yard line. His own. And there was some of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On third and short, going with a tight end. He eat up the whole clock. He's eating up the whole clock. At the 29. They're good enough to keep the drive moving. Three tight ends on one side. They'll try the air now with golf. Throw left side is complete on the diving end. Ross log out, log back in. Why? Passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, I'm not getting no pressure on golf. I'm gonna switch up. No score after one. Lions on EA minus Sports. 21 blocked in. <laughs> yeah. Second Lost my new Lions. Now from Detroit, and it's the home standing Lions who have the football, as they've got it with a first and ten. Oh shit! I thought he was gonna run it. From the gun, it's a oh, give to that. Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Don't kill that shit. Golf. Ooh. Now a quick throw here, yeah, but it's going to be incomplete. I need a pick. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on the pick. Line, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Chester, Chester, Chester. Throwing on third. Golf. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. What is he going to do? Results there in nine yards. 
And that'll bring up fourth He's going down. for it. And All right. It's been protected pretty We're good like here so far four? in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. Yeah. Not the protection detail. They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. He's going to draw. Oh, no. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Fuck. And he's got it. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Back on the backfield in the zone. Gibbs from four yards out. Ah. And the Lions post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Badgley. I'm going go there. And what? Back out of the backfield? Of the back out of the backfield in the zone. You picked the wrong defense? I definitely did. It's all right. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Good formation. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Way to miss your block, buddy. And he's going to be stacked up right at Humble the coming up. scrimmage. No, stop, bro. Nothing there for him. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. And the tight end goes in motion left. Here's Watson now on second down. This complete to David Bell. Watson, you might need to get a time in. Game at about six across the 30 to the 31. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Watson's going to get happy ending at the end of the game. What? Through my body. So they'll come up first and ten now from the thirty-three. How did that go? That went through my body. And then what? My safety can't come up and make the play. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it. He dropped it. Second and ten. It went right through his body, right? Golf now to throw. That was weird, bro. Ross stays throwing picks. That was weird, bro. Coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. I never... That well, was, it was a weird second one. long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Madden is Definitely by far one of the worst sports games I've seen. Many glitches, guys. shitty, and insane. I mean, I didn't think it was that now bad. third and long, they'll look to throw. And then that. And this is... Hit the shit! Complete. There was like three guys there. You squat it down, catch the shit. Drive that started with great field position. What's he doing? Fourth down. Like what the fuck is that bullshit? On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Jakeem Grant deep for Cleveland. Poison, poison, poison. Now this is gonna carry well into That's the, the end, end zone, zone for a touchback. Touchback, man. All right, let's go. The coming. Browns drive about to get started. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Spinning, bro? Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. You gotta run the ball, bro. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be yeah. second down. Now the Browns will use the first of the three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Yeah. 
The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Watson now to throw. I had quit. I could have lost. And this is incomplete. I'm going to figure it out. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. So he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with Dude, I got it. Don't worry. In this first half. Single high. I got a couple things here. Go over. On first down, it's Watson. That's complete to Bell over hurry, the hurry, 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 hurry. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Fuck, go! On first down, Watson. He finds his man complete. It's four. And with just four seconds left in this first half, Whoa. a timeout call. I suck so at kicking field goals. To go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. I so suck at down, kicking field goals. The unit is on here as they try to get three before half. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing at 7-3. to three. Now, Maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Shut the hell yeah, up. At least they got the three points, right? At least they have something to, quote-unquote, hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Should have been practicing. And with time running down, they go yeah, toss down to his ass, knee. toss his ass on the That's ground. For the first half, two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see. See, I told you it ain't no 50 and relax. We need to be able to run the ball, bro. Run the inside. Let's ground and pound their ass. Let's pound their ass. Defend the DP, uh, deep pass. We gotta pound his ass. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter uh, number three here. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. Just so tell him you play. Here at the Is he watching? He's watching the stream. He's watching the stream. He's watching the stream. The Cleveland offense. He knows my plays. But Charles, we saw pretty entertaining oh, first half, close ball game. Remember Fox there so toward the end of the there, second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Oh, it's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Tackle by Emmanuel Mosley. I have to think a major Chicken. focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get we operating. Are. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems Trust accurate. Shit. That oh. line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, Dude, I, I cannot block. My dude sucks. Teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. I haven't ran. I haven't. Let me try, try something real quick. Let me try, let me try something real quick. And come back to the run. Anything because you're right, quick. he's pretty much been completely this neutralized. This is Here not going to work. Down and four. Nah, this is not going to work. This is dead. Audible that shit. Let's run to this side. Yeah, 
I knew this shit was going to work. He'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 20. I tried. I don't know. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. I see a shake of the head as he gets up. And you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts. Because he definitely needs some assistance. Heard you up on that practice. We're going for this shit. Fuck this shit. What's going on? Watson gonna stay out there. Running some slants here. Across the middle. Fuck this shit. On fourth down, Watson. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh come on, Marty. So slow, bro. Conversion play. Shit. Usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Touchdown, right here. I'm calling it. Huge pickup. Touchdown, right here. Sticks make a drastic shift forward. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, play action. Plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side. Going right across the middle. Come on, boom. Nope. Down he goes. Come in. <laughs> Sluggo? And of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how a loser can run with be trying to get outside. How do you make him become a runner? I gotta, what's the, how do you make him become a runner off the bat? Because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football Touchdown. and ended up getting sacked. Completes it right side to Cooper. He hit the pylon! Touchdown! Make it, taking it with it Are you eyelash. shitting me? At the one. A big play there on the catch and run. I'm just, it's just Amari. It's the Amari show. Precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Touchdown. Walk. Oh shit! Is you fucking suck! As they push him back to the two yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of He got beat, in the bro! Game. He got Decent fucking beat, right bro! He ain't it, bro! Come on, Hutchinson's not even that nice, bro. Hutchinson's ass! Second and goal. He's gonna get Dog. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me right now? A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Bro, I can't run the ball. I can't run the so ball right now. Why can't I run the ball? As we play Why can't quarters? I run the ball right this now? This is the National Football League out of EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's me. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here. To start the fourth. I can't run in the middle, bro. Who's on me? I, we're, we're, we're playing. I, I'm not gonna. We're gonna bail on this dude. We got. We got. We're almost done. This better be a touchdown. Stretch it. Nope. And this time he is in. Nick Chubb taking it in from two Let's go, Chubb. And the Browns have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Oh, money. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 10 to 7. 10 to 7. This is going to come down to the wire, bro. I don't like this. I got to D up. D up, son. The touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Is he turning it? Oh, he is. Here's Watch him return for touchdown. Some bullshit. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a Boy, net gain of one there. What's he going to do here? I like playing man against him, bro. Which is better. The Lions We're offense just ready talented. to kick off their next drive. It's the Cleveland We're Browns, baby. We're on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now... Oh, my. Oh, hell yeah. Drop that shit, that ready? Right is that Gibbs? The fourth quarter. Ah, the put the sword down. away. winds up to be incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game. That's trying to run that wheel route. Find the completion. We'll run that wheel route, shit. To get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, hey, brother. unable to connect.
You lost. On second down, here's Gibbs. Feel that gap, bro. Third and four, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Who's that? Third and four, do you play man? I don't wanna play zone on third and four, though. You're gonna smother it? But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit. I don't know, is there? They don't have great leverage. And no, I don't see it. Blocked and turned to the side. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Oh. Get out of here! With that screen shit. No, 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 no. Better punt that, bro. Better punt that. Better punt that. Now that was a passer's what nightmare. Do? The front door totally shut down by the defense. They so kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue shit. of escape. It didn't exist. Fan trying to do. Try, oh, here we go. Here oh man, I'm not even paying attention. What the hell is going on? Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. Yeah, he was looking. I got lucky. Check up, bounced, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Run the ball, we win the game, baby. We run the ball, we win the game. The drive about to get started. Go the right at Hutchinson. Let's go, Chubb. The punt, and now you really start to monitor oh, why'd I hit the truck? He would've been gone. Slim lead. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their Yo, should first. I hit him? I'll, sh I'll show him how to run a fucking step screen. Aside here in the fourth quarter. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best I, I was going to say, I, I'll show him so how to run a screen. I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Operating Stretch it, run it up the middle, now. see what Here's happens. Second and three. Easy. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards, the pick Six up, yards. and that's a first stretch. down. Now we stretch him out. We go in the middle, and then we stretch right now, him out. I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, on that side we're gonna too. call timeout. Yo, come in motion. <laughs> Omaha, <laughs> Omaha, Omaha. Behind us and let's go. Let's go. Time to shine. Run that. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind sight. the line. Second 11, he stuffed that shit. I got see, the stretch doesn't work, bro. He, You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Is second it? and 11. Yeah. Too audible or something? Why stick? PA wheel? Fuck it, it's real real. Now it's Watson. Oh, baby! Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. You gotta get that tight end on the outside. Watch that play. I'm gonna run it on the middle, bro. I'm running down here the fucking throw right here. We're running the tight end over. Come on, Brian, bring him over. Let's make it strong. Strong side, baby. Oh, he just he's bringing all his. What do we do here? This late in the game, you Charles, can't you maybe seriously have to you think about play. going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position. To win the game. It's like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. Yeah. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine tenths go. of the wall. Possession is this nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Close it out. Running for it. Here's oh my God! To push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. That shit. Nick Chubb stops short, and the Lions will get the football back in I terrific field up. position. You gotta be shitting me. Yo, I can't challenge the play, bro. Yo, how did how did I Bro Bro I know I didn't realize inside two minutes. Inside two minutes. Stuff press baby. They'll come up first and ten. Dude, here. I ran into my own guys. My own guys just stood there, bro. My own guys just fucking stood there. Out of bounds. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Oh, the toes. he's not That's out. Be a first down. Well done. This game is so this fucking stupid. Let's see. I know they just gave up the first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something he's they can out. Start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. 
but it's been game, tough bro. sledding for him here the entire second half. On first and ten, here's Gibbs. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. This, in this game ain't case, good for your health. It it's not, bro. Brings up second and nine. Is he gonna? What's he gonna do here? Here's second down. Is he gonna go for the touchdown or is he gonna play it safe, kick the field goal, and go to OT? They'll oh shit! My guy whipped. And again, he's gonna be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60 I'll play it safe of them here. in the stands. I'll play it safe here. Any of them like that play. I'll play it and the safe. later we go, it's starting to sound like a hundred thousand in here. What's up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Time out. I mean, it's third and ten. I got to see what he does here. No TD. On third down, here's Gibbs. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. The Browns will quickly use their third and What's he gonna final do? timeout. All right. That'll be their third I gotta save some time and final for stoppage here I had as to. we step aside. I had to. I called it. Badgley able to knock right, this all right, one through. All right. And that will tie this game here in the you final play play. All right. Now, so I got time. I just need to pull to and win it. I have 40 seconds is plenty. Is he going to scrub it? Who just kick? Nope. Keep it away. I'm not returning that shit. Yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just right. give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. Formation. And he went behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two. Play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. Deuces. All right. Take up that field, bro. I know, I know. I gotta, I gotta run outside routes too, though, bro. I don't have timeouts. It's Brady time, baby. This is first and ten. I gotta run outside routes because I, I just don't have time. I gotta go to the sideline. To throw, watch it. Oh, he caught it! Let's go! And take this to the other side of midfield before. Let's go! And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your star. Lean on my star, baby, Cooper, baby. Where am I? 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 Where am and this will be well too low for him to bring in. Like it's incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. The catch oh, might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short in the fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. I gotta run some crossers, bro. I gotta run a crosser. I gotta run a crosser. I gotta run a crosser here. A little less. I gotta get too close to the sideline. Seconds man. remaining. Here comes second and ten. Now Watson. To the right. Get out! He's got more complete. And it's gonna be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 34-yard line. Cardi got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting close. Fuck it. What am I doing? Fucking field goal! So on comes the kicker, Dustin Hopkins, in a big spot. This from 51 yards for the win. One! The ten let's go! Let's go! The goal post, let's go! The football game. But Charles, we were treated to an excellent game today, capped off by that second half comeback. Let's go! This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us. Yes! Not so much to the team who led at halftime. What a now, game! Here, no what a game, bro! Tough one for them to carry home. Woo! What a game! GG's, man!
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. Woo! I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching yes, sir, the NFL. Yes, sir, baby. Right that was a good-ass game. Sports. That was good. Good game, dirty. Hell yeah, that was good. We'll have to run it back. <sighs> that was good. I don't know how Amari caught that at the end, bro. Coach suggestion, almost TD. He was horrible, but take your, uh, take your dumb. He was, oh, yo, hey, he was, bro, he's ranked. That dude is ranked. What are you talking about? That dude is ranked. Uh, Piglet 82, oh, damn, something's going to draft Bronny next year? Uh-oh, that dude was ranked. Um, Where crew at? Dude, it's already 1230, bro. Crew was supposed to do it at 11. He b bailed on me today. Crew calling? Bro, I don't know if I have time. Yo. Yo. I don't know if I have time. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Bro, I didn't. I, bro, I was trying to coach you through this and help you, bro, because you. Uh, I didn't uh, need it. Is, bro, I do not need I, you it. You won. I can't believe you won that game. What do you mean you can't believe? Why are you talking to me like I'm some scrub? No, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, hit the hurry up button. Hit hit triangle. Hit triangle. I'm like yelling over here, like, bro. So you could you could have hurried up and got to the play, so you could have probably got more yards to make the kick easier. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. I don't. I I, 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 I haven't been there yet. So that was. Uh... I feel, I'll hey, figure that out. DG, I have, I, bro, I cannot believe Amari Cooper caught that ball. Yeah, that was a nice one. I don't know. I, I've, I got lucky. Ain't gonna lie. Big dubs. Good. All right, bro. Yeah. I sent you a game. I sent you an invite. I don't know if I can play. What? Yeah, dude. I got. I, I mean, I was supposed to play at eleven o'clock. You bailed on me, bro. I was listening to freaking J Cole, man. It went longer I than I expected. No oh, Diddy. That's all right. We can well, get a game, man. You got thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah, I gotta you go, got I gotta 30 go, minutes. I got to go out on my W. Oh, not <laughs> Nah, the chat wants to see this this game, man. Bro, <laughs> I got to go. I, I I have to go. No, you don't. You already sent you the invite, bro. Let's go. Yo. Don't duck me, man. You're going to get me in trouble, bro. What you got to do? It's all right. There he is. All right, mute your controller, bro. All right, who, who, who do y'all? I don't know, man. I'm gonna get the Bears. That was a good game. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull up your chat too. There it is. Sounds like I'm gonna dislike pick them. Thirty minute game. All right, as long as the game, thirty minutes. Yeah, it's like thirty minutes, bro. It's not gonna be that long. All right, I'm gonna grab them. All right, if you smoke me today, it's, it's still one and one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ain't she going on, but you can't. Uh, Ross just got the, is this stick with the Browns? Get in trouble, we know what that means. Ross <laughs> is like, man, should have went with your gut, Ross. What do you mean? Like, <sighs> Ross is sad? No. It's the NFL oh, here we go. Sports, and we are at Venice All right, here we go. Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming Chicago up, we versus Cleveland. On tap here. Why are you be the Cleveland City? Browns taking on the Chicago Because I, I was home. I won the last game. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And Not returning it? Bounce out of the back of the end zone, yeah, so we will start here at the 25. Oh, let's see. <sighs> My boy had he's been practicing, bro. I don't know. He might be he might be a lot better today.
And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And again, it's Chubb. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. He was practicing offense. Much on that I don't know. Charles. No, that's exactly. I just watched his last game. Like he's playing pretty damn good to me. They would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Uh, uh. Oh. I see. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Watson. Flush to his right. He'll get this to Chubb oh, come the on. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Three yards, all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to oh, the front. Oh, damn. Punt incoming? Really ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Oh, come on. And he couldn't get it to check off. Almost off. That gets all the way to the Ready end for it. For a touchback. I was not ready for it. All right, let's get it. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Now, Herbert to start the draw. What did you say? What did you say? I ain't throwing the ball with Fields? Don't make me start throwing the ball over here, man. Oh my God! Run right by him. Not much there. Maybe a yard up to the twenty-four. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Oh, that's the one. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down. Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Let's get it. That's how we got to do, dink and dunk. Sometimes I'm thinking the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice Good D. Go Diddy. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Brandon, I like the screen sometimes, man. If I could, if I could, if I could running three screens on me. The screen I can make it happen. To happen. Broke off his pass rush, and they get back to tackle the running back. That's a very athletic. Get out of my way. And seeing that the treadmill's open and getting there before anyone else. See, I know you're just Get out of my way. Right Everybody knows at home <laughs> that that is nothing but a shot at me, and I'll take it, absorb it, and we'll move on. Here we go. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Hmm. Fields. Oh, oh are you see me? What happened? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he was open. Oh, the first at about the 46 yard line. Oh. oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Now, this is caught. He hits more. Down to the 10. Touchdown. Oh, man. Hey, look, you almost had me. You almost had me. He should have had me for a sack or a loss. Pays off with six points. And then he dived. Oh, why did he dive? He should have had me for a sack or a loss. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop him on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're gonna why are they telling you to turn it off, bro? It's a long ball, game. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. It's because he knows how to do the hurry up. 
Hold, hold triangle when you want to hurry up. When you want to hit, when you want to switch out of your defense, press triangle and your audibles will come up. Is it is it square for you? After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 20. We got to wait. Let's see what he's going to do. Three tight ends. God damn. Three tight ends. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever. It's like cool. Zone. It's like the zone. Like the zone. I know you like a book. And I had Brisker out I there, bro. I know you like a book. And normally when you think about Look, but he's, he's covered. He's covered D. One on one. Yeah, he's one, but Look at that. That's, that's Star versus right Bum. He just did Star versus Bum. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's What'd you say? Oxygen mask? He's gonna need it after that one. What'd you say? Big, big play. I mean, that's huh? my. That's, isn't that what's his face? Wasn't that? What? 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. A real field flipper there. Like you calling me a bum, man. I was gonna say I gotta turn up now. Let me turn up. They go up the middle with Chubb. All right, man. And it gives him a first and goal. All right, man. Like Let's get it. Match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. They'll run with Chubb. Oh, we were right over there, man. There we were right over there. Two on a gain of two. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cranks here. This close, sneaking. I don't think even going to a huddle. Just line up, what do snap do? it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They go with Chubb on second down. Come on! And he takes this one in for the Brown score. Nick Chubb taking it in. Tie game, that deep pass. Down. I didn't like and that deep pass. Extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, that was a quick drive. I didn't like the that deep pass, man. That was BS. The running game it was a tight end. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield. And oh, my God. It, into the end zone. it just fucking and as a former dude. defender, I can tell you. Whoa. It just lagged on the kick. Into the end zone instead of throwing. What? Are you kidding me? A one-point game, seven to six. Mike, hey, man. Bro, at least it's closer today already, bro. The start oh of the second God. quarter. You saw the chat. You saw that. Control of the football. That shit lagged as right on the kick. As we resume action. That's tough. Boston still recovering from injuries. Flacco should be in. Here's oh. Hopkins now out to kick it away. All right, let's go. Thank you. So, like, whatever. We'll figure out. It's not going to end with Tiny. Scott now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him defense. about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. You gotta play better everything right now. Oh man, here you go. Here you go, C Chat. Trying to play cordial today, man. Trying to play cordial today, C Chat. You playing better today. I'll give you that. Nice nah, over for you. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied Lucky. on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he will have the Bears first down, although it doesn't appear all right, all right. Now, all right. he needed four and he got all right. on third down. Okay, okay, okay. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Oh, come on, man. Oh, but they didn't slow me down. I was gone.
It didn't slow me down. I was gone. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And they'll get Deontay Foreman? All right, we'll take Deontay right now. Now second and three. They run again with Foreman. Stay up, stay up, stay up. But not before he gets this to the ground seven-yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run here with Foreman. Get in there. Able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Foreman is into the end zone for Bears. Ah, oh, that was a hard run. That is where you call lowering the boom down. That was a hard run. He's going to force his way in no matter what. They always talk about Ooh, I should have. wins when it comes to the offensive line. Seven, eight. The leverage to move the defenders. It's strong man wins when it comes to tackling in the red zone. Let's make it two scores. The low man and the strong man, that's a huge win. The Bears offense stay in put, and Justin Fields always a threat to run. They'll go for two here. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the we needed the two, we needed the two scores two early. Score you, you look like you're throwing a little bit better today. I don't like that. the touchdown here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away oh the return from his end zone is Grant oh nice job there on special teams to limit him to all right he's throwing a little bit better today what do we got to do what should we do today for most people the excitement of the kickoff idea. return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction all right, let's do but this. for the guys covering it it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory how about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Off of play action, it's Watson. Oh, come on. All right, rifles. Quan Brisker. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. That was man to man. Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sidelines. Safe to say that's man to man. They expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone. Courtesy of the <laughs> it's okay, six. bro. And Brandon, how often do we have It was a good read. Every series with a it was a good right. read, but he was right there. A PAT or a field goal. In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. <laughs> and we saw the takeaway right there. And it turned hey, out to be a takeaway. It turned into six points. following that pick six and now the kick is away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 all right let's see what do we do now what do we do what do we do the browns drive about to get started Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better oh. that you just throw the pick Damn. six. Damn! I told you he's throwing the ball better today, man. Three for four, 87 yards, only one pick. He had already had like three picks this time yesterday, so. These guys have definitely been out throwing a little bit better today. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise Bro. and start to put the game. It's a man play. Why is he not covered? And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Can I pause this? Oh, shit. Back to throw, Watson. Under pressure and 
he'll go down. Hold on. My bad, I'm back. Wait. Yo. 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 What happened? Someone check on Bane. Ross, real quiet right now. What happened? No, my, mo my package. Package delivered to the wrong place. What happened? You muted him? I didn't mute him. He's not in Discord. He's there? Yo! He's muted! You're muted in Discord. the former Maryland Turf. But when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, Lost when you piss? take a good look at it, Brock, no, 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 my, my um... sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. <sighs> Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and watched it deep. He muted himself? Why do you mute himself? Get away from the defender, couldn't create space. The end of the route, and Word in the street is you crying? No. His shit's all messed up. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. Oh, did I miss this? Oh my God! Why am I? And Hopkins' this? kick is no good. It's wide to the left, and this will remain. I don't know a what's going on right now. This shit's all fucking chaotic. I'm hearing the game like five times now. Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. Yo, when that happens, what is guys have a tendency right to pull through the ball to compensate, and in doing so, set what is going on, on, bro? The Bears' offense ready He's to go now? for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go Bench and a half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high power offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity. Yeah, I'm getting your so game one play, and they're already just shy of midfield.
Herbert once oh more. Oh my god, dude. Since when does the Bears have the greatest offensive line of all time? Take this down to about the 38. 63 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. And this is an example of the bad defense because of a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And I can't stop the run. Outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and three. A shotgun snap, Fields. He likes that play. Throw left side complete. That's more. And they will eventually get him down inside the five all the way to the three and offensively they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter the chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal fields now to throw got his man and it's caught six, left, six seconds left six seconds left well, I can't get no pressure on him. Seconds of the first half, and the Bears continue to pull away. I can't get no pressure half. on him. Santos able to take the line extra point, point, and that pushes Relax. the lead up to 23. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Now Watson. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So two quarters uh, yeah, down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. How about stop the run? Stop the run. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. Three uh, Brandon Gordon. Times. It's fine. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and Dude, ready to receive the I kick. kick well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Yeah. That's going to be caught downfield by Mooney. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in their second half blowout material. And off right side for Herbert. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. I don't know what the fuck I just did. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. I run zone, and it just doesn't work. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. 
Third and two, Fields. All on, and he's caught. He's going to pick up the first down and inside. Touchdown, Bears. He's been a cross play, yeah. John L. Mooney, 28 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from going up by 30. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They Wait, want to somebody try to knows you're a man, he throws board. a slant, and when you're in cover, he throws a switch. Not Ross. The Browns drive about to get started. So CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay. Where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. You have a much better opportunity. Now a first down throw, Fields. He'll get that underneath to Herbert. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Here's Fields. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the gun, here's Fields. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Bum, 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 bum. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Is he going to play? What are we doing here? The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Ross getting the call from Sears on IG. Now it's Fields. Don't tackle him. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further to throw his fields. <laughs> And that would going to be off target and incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Uh, Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage <laughs> needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Trying to improvise. <laughs> Throw it! <laughs> Yo! Throw it! Throw it! Throw it! Just throw <laughs> Bro! Throw it! Throw it! Just throw it. What's he doing? Throw it. He's, I can't do anything. This is the Tecmo Bowl. Watch, I guarantee you he'll fucking complete it. Watch, he's gonna throw it. Oh. And that is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked. What'd he just do? Bro. Yo, run it back. Yeah, you know, well, because I had to leave. My mom was getting fucking pissed. Everyone's yelling at me. No, 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 let's go. Run it back. Run it back. No, run it back now. Yeah. You, uh, you're, the game is coming through. Yeah. Yeah. You did something. How do I answer IG cutsaw on desktop? Uh, please don't, Ross. No, we're fine, bro. All right. Wait, I'll just call you, bro. Here we go. Owen oh 2. Owen oh 2. Everyone's yelling at me, man. What the hell? Ross needs more practice. I had it. I made a couple mistakes, but like the game was I fucked up a couple times. He gets me on the quick. He gets me on the hurry up. That's where he gets me and I I, I get fucked. I don't I don't know what to do on the hurry up. That's where he gets me, bro. And that's why I, I throw up the hands because I'm like, I don't know what to do. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what to do on the hurry up. You know? Pull your pants up. The beating's over. Okay. <clears throat> uh, call time out. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't know what to do on the hurry up. Change audibles. Uh, make adjustments or change audibles. Yes, that's what you do. You call timeout. Yeah. He loves that. Hurry up. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, fine now. Oh, uh, it's. I guess it was the browser, bro. Cause I answer. I call. I answered you in um, Discord. What? Uh, and it worked. Oh. All right. All right. Now this won't, this won't be quite as weird now, cause it was weird. I couldn't hear you at all. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. All right. Do you know how to do audibles and all that, bro? Cause I don't want to play. No, 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 no. 
Let's go. I'll figure out the hard way, bro. It's how you get better. All right. Audibles, I think it's... I think no, no, press... no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. I'm not playing against you if you don't really, if you don't really know how to like play the game, bro. No, no, no. no. The I'll figure it out. Be... I know how to do it. All right. All right. I know how to do it. All right. Let's get it. Square. Uh, it's square. But then I got to... It's just... I, I got to... I don't know. It takes time. You got to... Yeah. It's, it's, it's quick. I got to figure it out on my own. That's how I learned. All right. Let me see. It's on all mad and cool. Everything's good. Six minute quarters. All right, bet. All right. all right. Who should I get, man? I don't I don't know who I should get. <clears throat> Someone's like, you haven't played this bad. I mean, I don't play Madden. I played, I mean, I can't, I'll be honest. It's been a while. It's probably since Ray Lewis was on the cover. Um, yeah, you could also do individual audibles too. So you can get yeah, on the person and can do something different. I'm gonna get the Patriots. Oh, he's gonna fucking disrespect me and my team. <laughs> get the Patriots, bro. All right. See, this man changes his playbooks and shit. I know you. Okay. All right, look, I'm gonna play with the regular playbook. No, 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 no. We Todd Bowles, you play with my playbook. You play, now, that's what you do? You play with Todd Bowles' playbook? Yeah, I do all the time. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna play with their playbook. I'm gonna, oh. I, I, I'm gonna go. Basically, I don't know this team at all now. Hold up. Why is my game? My game's all fucked up. What's wrong with it? You guys are watching. It's still showing the Cleveland game. Are you are you just behind? Just go forward with your YouTube stream with your uh. No, no, this is forward. like my um Gamecast thing. It's just everyone's no. like your screen's broken. I'm watching. Oh yeah, now I'm watching the Cleveland game. Yeah, like it makes yeah. no sense. What? Right. It's my um. What the? Because it says it's live. But it's not. Let me refresh it. No, no, no. It's on my end, but. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Log back out. Log back in. It's not. It's my computer. It's it's something with my um. Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the New England. Patriots. Yeah, it's still showing the Cleveland game. Because yeah. they won't be able to see our game then. Yeah. Hold on. Let me restart my Elgato thing. Watch this thing shuts off. My game just died completely. The game went off? Yeah. What the hell? Even even my, my computer's telling me don't play again. Is it? Restart it? Yeah, you probably got to restart it. It's my game capture device. The same thing happened to me a couple of days ago. I had to like redo it again. Oh, here we go. It's, it's like, like stuck. Yeah, you gotta like restart the whole thing. I think I just did. Now it's black. Yeah, that's what ha that's what happened to me too. We'll just have to run this, start this game over. Where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the forty yard line. Now nothing's working. Jeez. Let me see. My device. Yeah, it's not picking up my game capture device. Hold on. Hmm. Check the settings. Check the settings on the game capture to see if it even pulled up. There it is. <sighs> Your computer said shut it down. I know, right? It's just the um, settings. Uh, mine did that like two days ago. I had to restart the whole thing. There we go. There we go. It's all set. I just, I just, it's just stuck. Okay, that's cool. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone winding. I don't think I have to restart it. We're good here. 
It's first and 15 for me or you? Me. Oh, okay. All right, there it is. Looking clean, looking clean. All right. All right, man, let's get it. Run it up, man. What we had on likes over here, I don't even know. Good luck with the pats. Yeah, I know, they kinda, they kinda whack. All right, let's get it. You getting Tampa though. Baker. All right, Patriots. Nothing crazy. We're going to do what's our offensive focus? He's definitely going to be throwing the ball. You're going to defend the medium pass. Lost Tampa has an ass running game. It's not a lot of decent running games. Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium the here in Fox running game. Is it fine coming to your end? Chat, you know. Yeah. Glitching hard on my end. Buccaneers taking I can see it over here too. England Patriots. All right, and yeah, and you still get the ball. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. Good hit. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good, Good hit. coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Shout out Bonnie. I'm so to you. I appreciate it. We're almost at 7.1, man. Can we get 7.1K today? I'm trying to catch up to Roscoe, man. I only got like, what? 205,000 more. Uh, three tight ends. First and 10, and, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Baker going to throw this right away. Escape Baker. The right. Able to spin free. They won't let me hit Baker. Past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. That's the first time he's called his own. Man, he started run. off the game with a Baker with run. That's disrespectful. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. A first carry for the shot right to about the 33 yard line. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Man, welcome, just welcome, don't take welcome. Any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They stay on the ground and play. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. Decided to hand it off that Who is Bar? Who is, what is name? Barca? Who is that? Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. The heavy set out there. Barmore. Who is that? Into the formation Barmore. for third and three. Mayfield. Oh. On the left side, a catch by Ryan. Oh. In the space at the 45. And finally taken down at the 35 yard I gotta watch out for that. Good pick up there, 26 yards. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball, let him do his thing, and they got it out to him on the left side, and he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. First down, here's right. This will be a gain of about watch out. I'm watching. 27 yard line. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and two. Now Mayfield. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, that is mine. Mayfield oh, is incomplete. He didn't just deny that. He broke that one up in the red zone. Excellent play. One that made those side points on the board. Over. 
him. Should have picked that. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Mayfield now. Dude. Why oh, it's intercepted. Every drive killer there. Yeah. Picked up by it's like you, you got to double and tap to throw it over. Take over once again at their own 25 yard line. Ooh, these plays are crazy. That's why uh, Odog. Was that Odog? Odog, yeah, yeah. You said it earlier. That's my biggest flaw. I keep doing that. It's throwing the ball. Zappy and the no, Patriots no, no. come up here first and ten. What are you talking about? Twenty-five no, no, yard no, line. <laughs> okay. That's my fault. He's right. He called it. Early. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. That's to about the twenty-eight. Second down coming up. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking. Patriots playbook really is good. Well. And giving up no cream. I gotta figure it out then, I guess. Seven now from the 28. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. Stevenson is here. Ass. Yard to the 29. Stevenson is ass. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the He's secondary here counts. on third I know, down. I know, yeah. I know what I'm doing wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100 percent money. Open man right yeah. side of Smith Schuster complete. And he will he killed him, but he, he, he got the first. Able to get the third down conversion. Stevenson now on first and ten. Bro, Stevenson is ass, dude. This dude is slow. Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, that was a ton of percent because they picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three, three yard gains. Slow. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. Unless they got on their uh, that back over here. I got to look at the defense. From the thirty-eight now. Here's second down and seven. From the shotgun, Zappy. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the <laughs> Juju, we got Juju over here. A gain of 20 and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Bruh. God, bro. Give me any sort of speed. Got to go. Lane I see you, buddy. Been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line Jeez. of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down, Zappy. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And this is ah, they finally blocked for it. Give him 18 on the play. Finally blocked. We're scoreless after one. What's up, Chalupa? Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. As they've got we might be on the bottom of the roster because of injury. Oh, I didn't even know we still had him. He might be better. Zappy on play action. Come on, Zappy, you gotta make that throw, bro. As that falls incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The you gotta make that throw. Ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and ten. You gotta make that throw. Play fake, and now here's Zappy. Bro, look at this. This quarterback is cheeks and a half, bro. But will look like a march to the end zone is hit a moment to the half. Oh, man. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they get their offense back on track. I got to look at my quarterback. Who else do I have at quarterback? This dude sucks. You don't have Mac Jones in there? Yeah. Oh, damn. 69 overall? Zeke? No, they're slow. Their running backs are just just slow. 
They don't have max. Their back is low. Yeah, they wide open. He just can't he can't get in the ball. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Oh my god. It's intercepted. A drive kill. <laughs> Catch his bro, if they don't. So oh my God, Mac Jones! Pick early on in this one, and maybe Bruh. setting the tone. Yeah, probably Mac Jones comes in and really throws a pick instantly. Stage. And don't you think that both instant pick? Are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding Jeez, these turnovers bro. that we've seen earlier. Bro, he was wide open. Both teams are trying to find an advantage. He just sailed it. That. Can one of them break away? God. I'll throw, I'll, I'll throw it right game. back to you. Don't worry. <laughs> They will run with White out of the shotgun. Jeez. A little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. From the gun, Mayfield. Oh, my God. Catch that. What are you doing? And it falls incomplete. Quarterback in the world. Never forced the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. Windows are so tight. He got through there, though. The Who's that? Their game plan that they've executed to perfection. I do not follow Patriots football at all. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Oh no, he got that! You, wait, wait, you can't, there's no like, they only need a few inches and they didn't get much more than that. No. I switched four to a passing play, I didn't know it was a fucking play action. Bruh. And he fell forward for the yard too, crazy. They go play action. Oh, they feel they'll roll him out right. That's caught by Durham. He caught that. And down inside the 15, he goes. Appreciate That's good you. For a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. On the move to his left. No, come and on, what kind of throw is that? This motherfucker is oh. making a fucking bad catch. Running the opposite. What kind of play is that, dude? Bro. Yo. I've never seen a Patriot player make that kind of catch. <laughs> he was like falling backwards, catching the ball. He was going is one he... way and then leaning left and catching it. Get the hell out of here with this shit. Oh my God. Well, hey, we're on the six yard line. I don't uh the I don't necessarily the ready to go. love they got my the ball now following right a big now. play keeping the other guys out of the end zone and they'll start deep in their own territory this run game is, is, is sorry um, on that first down run as they will get to it behind the line of scrimmage the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half some got to get me hyped in this game bro this offensive line has he said low-key blast that Cole in the background I said Oh God! Stevenson oh gets God. it again on second down. I'm thinking you're thinking you're thinking you're thinking you're and some room for him there as he take this. Up He's slow as hell, bro. They need nah, I ain't throwing it back here. They'll try and run for the first. Oh, with oh I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. <laughs> he said, "Oh no!" Two remaining as we I'm step going aside for it, bro. here in this second quarter. I'm going for it.
Zero to zero yeah, going the call here. They need midway through in their own territory the second quarter. Down, and they're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. And a the open man. That's complete. And he's going to pick up the Patriots first down as the defense couldn't come up with a big Do you like Friday Nights at Freddy's? Uh, yeah, I've played it before. It's actually kind of dope. Oh shit. What is going on? What is the play that just happened there? Just inside the 10 back at the 9. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. What just look, bro. They just Yo, they really playing like these Patriots though. Game and coverage against the run. Damn, he didn't let the ball go to the loss of yardage. The best of both worlds here. Man. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack too. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now Jones. Bruh. Oh, the turnover face continues. Here's another interception. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. All right. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's Mac Jones for you. Oh, no, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a let down there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. Yikes. All right, I'm about to lock in. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this uh, one's in the air. Somebody just go for two. I... And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. We locking in. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where oh, no. oh. the coach is walking that line of I know, man. Really I can't complete anything team. else with these quarterbacks. Tell me once, you know, we're having a tough patch. This yes, I do. Pass, I do. This two-shell pass, and if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to up. make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm oh. things down. There he goes, right side. Juju Smith-Schuster. I needed that. I needed that. Juju Smith-Schuster, 59 yards. And the Patriots strike. We said uh, Jones can only throw Chad two Ryan feet. This is a smart play call. Right. I might have to go. All right. Might be spying, He's That's got cool. Do what you got to do. We'll six. pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I'll catch you later. All right. Catch me tomorrow. All right, peace. I'll see you guys.